Boom! It's your boy Oats coming back at you with another stream, baby! What's up, guys? Today is a Friday and it's December 30th here in good old Singapore. And I'm back again with some Hitman 3, man. I'm so glad I, I just completed Resident Evil Village because, like, I don't really do well with horror games. And especially if a game tends to stretch out even longer than it's supposed to. Like, I don't fuck with that, man. But it was a good game. I ain't gonna lie. Like, it was a really good game. Yo, what's good, Rilla boy? Damn, son. I haven't played this in a while. I hope I remember how to, like, do the controls. I guess it's like riding a bike. You never really forget. But, uh, you know, the thing that I've been always looking forward to Hitman 3 was the fact that, like, they had, like, that contracts thing, right? Where you can, like, have your own home base. And whenever you, like, head out, you can, like, like, I don't know. Oh, shit. Oh, there's a winner thing. You're to the winner. Oh, Freelancer. That's what it's called. It's January 26th. A day after my birthday. Oh shit. Okay, there's a guy you can kill. He arrives in nine hours. Ooh, look at this. Santa's workshop. Didn't I do this the last time? Happy holidays one and all and thank you Urban for having me. Santa's little helpers have caught four people up there doing nasty things. Okay, so what's the deal? Oh, this contract was created by a member of the Hitman community. Aw, oh, man. I thought this was officially IOI-like mission. Nah, I'm good. Elusive Target Arcade. Hide all dead and unconscious bodies in containers. Ah, uh, this one is fucked up, man. I remember doing one like this and it's pretty tough. Okay, wait. Let's, let's just, just watch the briefing. Good evening, 47. Good evening. Our target is Miranda Jameson, famous art appraiser and director of the Gorka Institute in Barcelona. Gorka. Mrs. Jameson is one of the key drivers of the extensive price fixing that takes place in the art world. Her callous approach to the fine arts business has destroyed countless galleries and resulted in the suicides of several artists ruined by her actions. Damn. Two weeks ago, Jameson hired a gang of thieves to steal a valuable painting from Why is that guy wearing a sushi chef Jameson outfit? aims to impress adventurer Blake Nathaniel with the stone. Nathaniel, did I kill that dude? The owner has discovered her involvement and hired the ICA to retire her and retrieve her personal notebook. Mission active. Damn, I think they probably put like the voice actress for Diana on retainer, man. Okay, retrieve Miranda Jameson's notebook that contains information on art society members' art purchases and preferences. Okay, let's fucking do it. Um, I like the coin. I like the lockpick. I, I guess I'll go in with the tuxedo and mask. Ooh, I can change like where I start out. Now, nah, let's start from the harbor like James Bond. This is an arcade contract. When playing an arcade contract, the following rules apply. If you fail, you will need to wait 12 hours before you can play the arcade contract again. Once you have begun to, com to complete objectives, you may no longer restart the contract plan accordingly. Damn. Uh, sure. Wait a minute. So you can't, you can't really choose your uh, difficulty, right? Welcome to the Isle of Scale, 47. Scale. Miranda Jameson has been sighted on the island, but her exact whereabouts are unknown. We do know she's not carrying her notebook around with her, so look out for both. Okay, okay, how do I pull up my gun? 
Oh, you can select your shit this way. Okay, yeah, I did. I know how to throw a coin. Okay, there's like one thing I like to do is I like to turn off haptic feedback. Um. Yeah, just I don't know, just because like I don't want my controller to wear out as as fast. Yeah, it's like it's especially if I use haptic feedback. It's like I'm always fighting with the controller, so it's like my fingers are gonna get like sore. You know, the thing is I never actually really explored like this part of the building. Whatever this building is. Oh, I think it's like a security building with like uh cameras and shit. They have a laptop. Oh, but there's another security room upstairs. So I should handle that first. This place is Illuminati as fuck, man. This is where they Sudoku a bunch of people. I forgot, how do you run? Oh, L1. What a weird button for like running. Let me get this break. Okay. Hostile area. So like everyone's position is pretty much the same. And he suddenly comes up, pulls down his mask and says hello. Crazy fucker, he's building his own spaceship out of bamboo. Tell you what, like, I worked for this super rich American heavy- Uh, okay, let me like, like, get a guy to go here. This job is duck soup. Excuse me? Yeah, go check it out, motherfucker. I hear you. Don't touch my fucking coin, boy. Okay, so now we dress up as the dude. And we must we gotta hide his body to like make sure we like um get like the you know the extra optional like uh achievement. Okay, wait, pick up the coin. Pick up the gun. Okay, keep the gun. Okay, this guy's an enforcer. Now we gotta go work on turning off the security camera. It's been a while since I played this game, man. I'm a little rusty. Okay, wait. So it's not illegal to use the silver baller, right? Yeah, I gotta get rid of the security camera. Right? Surveillance system has been disabled. Beautiful. Now we're cool. Right? We don't have to worry about security cameras. Okay, so we gotta kill the bitch and we gotta steal her notebook. Okay, let me think. Her name is Miranda ja Jameson. Okay, so it contains the information on ARC Society member, art purchases, and preferences, but like, I don't know where to find it. I think in my honest opinion, like, finding the notebook is like, probably way harder than like, killing the bitch. Know what I mean? Cause like, killing her is like, easy, right? You can like, probably there's like, a million ways you can do it, but... Like, I feel like, um, you know, like, finding the notebook is only gonna be in one location. Oh shit, actually this is highly illegal. Climbing up these things. No 
Nobu, finally. I've been trying to get a hold Okay, we cool, we cool. Oh, you're on the jets? How far out? Not sure. Janice's body is still being prepped in the basement. I checked the wake schedule. Damn, Janice's body. Performance of Janice's favorite Schubert piece. Zoe Washington delivers a short eulogy and then yesterday. Okay, I need like a higher level outfit. I think this is where, like, the, the target's gonna be, right? Cause she's into art and shit, so she's gonna be in the art, uh, museum area. area. I don't remember them being clean cleaners the last time. Damn, I'ma be honest, man. Like, I'm so grateful that I've actually waited to play this game on PS5 instead of, like, everyone was, like, bugging me, like, yo, play it on PS4, PS4, and I'm like, Yo, if you want to enjoy greatness in more sexual graphics, you should wait. Good things come to people who wait. Damn. What up, girl? How do Hi. I... How, Hi there. How do I go into first person view? Oh, like that. Damn, girl. She got her personalities popping. And you a Christian. That's good. That means I can introduce you to my parents. Oh, are they, they're not going to let me go upstairs, right? Oh, actually, it's cool. Damn, the, the graphics are intense. I forgot how good this game looks. Laying low. Sir, you really need to ask. That squealing son of a bitch is the only witness to what went down in that cave. Okay, so what's the deal? I don't care if he spends the rest of his days as a washed up beach bum playing in an Eagles cover band. Amnesty is searching for him, and so is Interpol. If they get to him, okay, this guy sat down. Do I take out the engineer? See, I don't know if the engineer is like, um... Just do it properly. Or I send Adrian to toss you over a waterfall. Yo, uh, I don't know, man. I, I'm actually kind of like doing what, what I always do whenever I play this mission, but I need a better outfit. Yeah, they're not gonna let me upstairs. Wow, they got a mirror. It's so rare to find like a working mirror. It's so f it's so Yo sh yo shut the fuck up man. I'm trying to talk over here. Like uh it's so rare to find a mirror in like games. I don't know because maybe it takes like too much computing power and shit. Ah, good. You're preparing the space for my painting. Your painting, Mrs. Jameson? Isn't Oh shit. What? That old rat. That is Miranda Jameson. What? What you say? Thief. Everyone's British in this fucking game. We've been staring at the screen for decades. Time for something fresh, don't you think? If you say so, Mrs. Jameson. Oh shit. Okay, the engineer almost like broke my uh fucking thing. Yo, why isn't she in red though? Oh, wait, can I electrocute her when she's standing in that puddle? But I don't see any, like, electrical appliances. Oh, Blake, darling. No need to stand around here sulking. I'm certain they'll be done with the final cleanup of the Cloud Serpent necklace soon. I've done the appraisal already. It's absolutely exquisite. I know, the find of a lifetime. I just want to make sure it makes it all the way to the case. You know how badly Sophia wants it. Damn. Well, perhaps I can distract you with something soon. I've got a little present for you. Being oh shit! As we speak. A present for me? Come on, shoot that white. Oh gun. shit! I'm dead. I fucked up. I fucked up. Shit! I didn't know there was a guy behind me that was like a a, a fucking uh snitch. Welcome to the Isle of Scale, forty-seven. Scale. Miranda Jameson has been sighted on the island, but her exact whereabouts are unknown. We do know she's not carrying her notebook around with her, so look out for both. Okay, it's cool, it's cool. 
I, I guess I can speed run the uh, earlier part. I wasn't paying attention. Like, I was, like, trying to listen to what they were talking about. And I got busted. But it is what it is. Boy. I was doing so good. That's why this game really still amazes me. Because, like... You know, even, like, a professional like myself, I still get you know, busted. one of them saying he actually wished he'd go bankrupt tomorrow and live in the streets just to... Okay. Throw the coin. You know, they're bored with all their money and like a little role playing to spice things up. Find out what that was. I I. I I don't like it when the game has like an overuse of like uh British like like you know accents. Like, can they use like some French accents or like some like Spanish? Oh wait, they did right. I think like in the uh, the mission where you have to go to this drug cartel like mansion, they had people like sounding really uh, Latino. Como estas? Retrieve the notebook. But first, I have to shoot the security camera. Okay, we gotta wait till this guy like moves. Oh shit. Recordings erased. Beautiful. What the hell is that? Is that a camera? I think it's just a light. Nothing here. Returning to post. Nothing here. Damn straight, nothing here. Uh oh, this guy finna turn around. Why he looks so suspicious? Damn. It's kind of like shitty. Like, uh, I kind of wish, like, you can have your back turned on someone. They don't get suspicious as quick. You know what I mean? Okay, so we made it back. Uh, I gotta find a notebook though, but I need like a better security outfit. I wonder if the waiters actually have access to all the floors. Damn. Be cool if you can like dump someone's body. Oh shit. Someone's coming, someone's coming. I was looking at the map, I was looking at the map. Yeah, one of them guards is like a little beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see that guy? That's the enforcer that caught me the last time. Damn, how long are you gonna stand there, fool? Okay, he's gone. I need, I need one of them outfits. Maybe they have like a changing room where you can like change into one of them outfits. Ooh. Yo, maybe I can get like a brand new outfit here. PayPal. Is that the book? Oh no. I don't think so. Oh wait, don't they have like an outfit here I could grab? I think I kind of remember there was an outfit. Oh, 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 oh. Someone was, someone saw me. One of them guards. Shit. That was kind of close. Yeah, I think like one of them outfits. Okay, I gotta, I'm gonna climb up all the way. Um, cause I wanna have access to the really, really restricted areas.
Okay, so what do we do? There's a mirror though, so the, the scary part is like... We gotta wait till the guy ducks and then like, you know... Yo, okay, so here's the problem, right? The problem is if the guy walks into the mirror and he starts like cleaning shit up, he can see me through the mirror. I'll be like hiding behind this door. Or what I can do is... I can throw a coin like into this corner. Okay, he didn't hear that. Uh I guess I should overflow the sink. Okay, the moment he ducks, I'll choke him out. Jesus Christ, what a mess, what a mess, what a Okay, mess. go dub, dub. Damn it. Cool, cool, cool. I'm kind of surprised he didn't see me through the mirror. Okay, this guy's his elite guard. Okay, now we drag his body. Put him in the bin. Like all the rest of the trash. Okay, cool. So, now we are cool. I wonder if I don't carry this gun, will I get suspicious? No, it's actually fine not to use the gun. I would rather not use the gun because in case I change out of this disguise, like I, I, I have to drop the gun anyways. I'm not playing this late level. I kind of wonder if the book we are looking for is probably in here. It, it's gotta be, right? I don't know what intel is that. What the hell is this? Oh, you can blend in as a statue. Nice sword. Cannonball. You know, I never really shot a cannon in this game because it's like too loud and I like to play everything stealth. Cigar box. Okay, cool. So I'm still trying to locate this notebook, but I don't know where it is. Ooh, look at that. You can, someone was having tea over here. Bag of gunpowder. Ooh, that's a nice ass cake. That looks like a cheesecake. Wouldn't it be cool if you can look through the telescope? You know? Should be pretty fired out. Oh, you can push this fucking gargoyle. On what? I guess you can push all the gargoyles. I always wonder like where the fuck the idea of the gargoyle came from. It's like it's like back in the day did they really had like like shit like that? 
Oh, I think if we go downstairs, uh, there might be a chance like people might recognize me. They might recognize I'm not one of the homies. Could have gone with him. You never oh my god, that guy's him. voice is like so goddamn annoying. Besides, I like the crisp air. My guests, those scientists are extremely interesting. Let me get the fuck out of here because that butler can tell who I am. Okay, I'm gonna go down to the crib because, like, I gotta find a book. Maybe they keep the book where they keep the corpse. Damn, that lady is so creepy. I don't remember this room. If I unlock this, like, will she see? Ooh. They keep some stuff over here. Baseball bat. Propane tank battery. I think the battery is like if you shoot it, it it'll like light up like fireworks, right? It starts sparking everywhere. Yeah, I don't know if the book is in here, man, but I, I'll just go take a look. Damn, look at all the guards. Oh, let me get that crowbar. Why the fuck is she talking to his dead body like that, man? Lonely ass bitch. Man, all the lonely single middle-aged ladies are the weirdest. You ever notice that? They're always like, you know. But death is forever, so we might as well look our best for the final journey. Don't you agree? Ugh. Hmm. Maybe a touch more rouge. Rouge. Oh, she's like putting makeup on this that guy. Chloroform flask. Hey there. How you doing? Yo, what can I do with a chloroform flask, bro? Oh, it's a sedative. I can put it into someone's tea. Okay, can I save? Oh, you can't fucking save, bro. But I got the the really elite outfit. So that's cool. Um I guess if the, the the book that we're looking for is probably in this building. Oh, he calls me sir. Yeah, bitch, you better recognize. Otherwise, I'ma drop you like your senpai. Um, yo. I think this bitch is always gonna be in the, the main art room, right? Where's she at? Oh, she's gone. Damn, this place is really, really fancy. Hey, sir, Damn. have a good night. Someone died? Uh, okay, real quick. So, what? where does this door go to? Fuck, I don't have the key. And it's illegal to open this door. Okay, I think no. I'm gonna go upstairs. Hello, is, is she crying over Janus? Janus was like an old fuck, right? That we killed like back in like um the retirement homes. Is the council still in session? No, they've called a recess. Sophia Washington wants them to pass some kind of motion, but one of the council members is fighting her tooth and nail. Huh. Wouldn't happen to be Jebediah Block, the coal baron, would it? Yeah. How do you know? Well, I happen to know he's on the council. He's one of the Damn. original five. You know, the first okay, wait, let me see. Oh, I, I gotta unlock this. Yeah, I can't just open this. Otherwise, it's like highly illegal. What's he about? Ooh, there's some guests over here. Sophia the schemer. What's she up to this time? You know that Kronstadt designer in charge of the brain upload program? What the hell is this guy? I don't know. But she seems Armory Ruth? Who the fuck is this? 
Oh, he got like an, a mask that is like front and back. That's so fucking creepy, man. Bunch of weirdos and shit. A hundred million dollars. I gotta find that notebook, man. Looking good today, sir. This is the constant, right? Oh, okay, so we, we made it into some back room. Ooh, that's like a restaurant. So we are at the back of like a restaurant. Okay, that's to the other place, but... I'm trying to find like the, the book. Thank God we got rid of the security cameras, man. Otherwise, this is... Whoa, that's pretty lit. Buddha. They chopped up Buddha's head. Put it in like a display and like, you know. That's disrespectful. Buddha. Wow. Look at that glass globe. This is what the cities of the future finna look like. Can I, can I come Can I come through? Maybe the book is inside here, but I don't know how to go in. I don't have a key card. Yo, can I come through? Cool. Constant, the constant voice is like so creepy, man. Good evening, Sophia. How did they fucking find that dude, man? Wow, I don't really remember this place. Counselor's Lounge. Oh, you see that? You see like the the, 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 the the guy playing the instrument and he has a blindfold on? I think they took that from like Eyes Wide Shut. Where you know like in the scene where they were doing the ritual thing, they had like a, a pianist. She, uh... Man, this place is really well designed. Yeah, I'm just trying to come through, man. This is actually my first time being here. Cigar box. Can I not close this door? Oh, we can. Wow, this would be a great sniping spot. But, you know, like, I love playing Hitman and, like, not... I am being like a ghost, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to, like, leave bullet casings and, like... I don't want to make it seem like the guy I killed, like, died from a bullet. I want it to seem like he committed Sudoku or he slipped on a banana and broke his neck. For real. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't want to like shoot the guy and like, oh. What the fuck is this place? Crushing startups and swooping up their patents. You know, the usual strategy. Yeah, of course. Block is no plan of progress. He's a stubborn man. Damn, this place is kind of lit, man. Men's club. Would you believe he smokes his cigars in the sauna? Jebediah Block. I don't know who that is. Jebediah Block will learn the hard way that it doesn't matter how much coal he digs, no one's bloody buying Damn. anymore. <laughs> what up, girl? Your mess is so creepy. Oh, I'm missing a key card. How the fuck do I get a key card? The key card is what I need. Ooh, they got binoculars. You can poison the glass of wine. Oh. oh damn okay so i think like the answer to get like what i need is like i might need a key card or maybe i could still climb upstairs some more oh wait you can
Wow, I've... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That guy almost saw me. Oh shit, okay wait. Okay, okay, that guy's an enforcer. I'm not supposed to be up there, I think. But what the hell is up there? I never been this uh, to this part of the building in this game. Holy shit. This game never fails to impress me. All the guys up there are like enforcers. Um... Yeah, I don't know, man. I really, really want to see what's up there, but it's like there's so many chances of getting caught. And I'm not even sure if like the lady's book is up there. Okay, let me get out of here first. Uh, I'll come back up there next time, but right now we got business to take care of. Okay, let me go through here. So I gotta avoid that guy. Go down here. What is weird is like they can still like get suspicious. Like I'm not one of them, even though I'm totally in a hood. My guess is that any impending collapse will go hand in hand with the banks going nuclear. The great Oh yeah, 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 I think I recognize this part, right? This one goes across the bridge. Yeah, I need a key card to go into the, the special room. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, is that the book? Oh no, that's a newspaper clipping. Intel obtained. Cool. Letter opener. Transfer teams. But who gives a crap about cryonics if we're you can climb through, but I don't want to do that. I don't remember this part of the house. Um I remember there was like a door that was like there was a key card, right? You couldn't... Oh wait, there's a bathroom. Maybe we can find the key card here. Damn, that's a big ass mirror. Wow, this place is stocked. Toilet paper and like fucking Viagra if you need to fuck. Man, elites are like pretty wild, bro. Okay, there's someone over there that can tell I don't work here. I don't work here. Yeah, I'm missing a key card, but I don't know how to get it. Damn, this lady creepy. Do you have the key card? Oh, okay, wait a minute. I guess I can turn this on as a distraction. Certainly a bold design. What's the power source gonna be? Nuclear? Solar? Cold fusion? <laughs> turn off model lights. Okay. Huh. 
Huh. Investigate disturbance. Oh, that's how you get that guy to come through. Yeah, I just love to clean up other people's shit. Must turn on. <laughs> what a fuck. I don't get it. Like, he's just a regular guest, right? But his outfit is kind of special. Oh, it's like a server room. Can I choke this bitch out? I hope she has a card, but I kind of doubt it. I don't think she has a card. Maybe one of the guys like have the card. Engineering. Simon Devereaux from Biosphere mentioned something about that in his latest. Oh shit, song. is that lady coming here? On that. It's so intriguing. You know what? When they're going inside that room, maybe I should have like followed them from the back. Maybe. Hey, 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 hey. So I turn this off and this guy comes to investigate it. Not again. And then I would choke him out and maybe he has a key card. I don't think he has one. I think he's just a guest. Like this and on. Okay, cool. Oh, he's the architect. Architect. Wow, he's the architect. Uh, yeah, I don't know the disguise of the architect. Is it like good? Fallout, nuclear winter. It all just feels sort of quaint. You want a bomb? Do a little research into shit. Do you guys know where the book is? Maybe it's not even here. Oh, is she heading back to the room? If she is, I can like probably follow her from behind. I hope it's like totally not illegal or anything. Okay, she's coming back upstairs. Good evening. I'm just saying if Good you're evening. For complete global collapse, give me the apple in your backyard and a bunch of MREs, you're not seeing the whole picture. All right, she's coming through. Shit. Oh, I didn't know they have a spot out here like this. Oh, you can actually sneak in. Okay, wait. I gotta follow her. If she's going inside the Ms. room, Washington. I can. How is the test group's response to the DNA Vault initiative? Actually, oh, that's how I get access to that room. Not as well as the team had anticipated, Madam Chairwoman. How so? Preserving DNA doesn't. I can't turn off the lights, but. Oh wow! You can actually shimmy along the whole building, like Spooderman. Okay, I might want to climb in. Uh oh, is she going in? Oh, 
Oh, I'm allowed to be in here. Do they have a key card? I'm just trying to look for the book. Hope that guy doesn't turn around. Yeah, I don't see the book anywhere. Oh, look at this photograph. Intel obtained. Look at this photograph. Whoa, look at all the walkie talkies. So at least we like right now know that the, um, the, the book isn't here, right? Investigate laptop. Yeah, her book isn't here. But at least like right now we are really sure it isn't there. Uh, I guess I'm gonna get out of here and uh, try to like find another room that the, the, the art lady probably kept her shit. What the fuck is this? What the fuck? This is so depraved, man. Okay, let's go downstairs. I feel like this mission is gonna take all day. Yeah, I know. I don't know. I don't think the art lady keeps her shit in here. Maybe the book is with her, and we finna kill her if you want to get the sheet. Hello there, sir. Hello there. Hmm. Looks wow. In order. She has no idea what she's doing, does she? Jameson? She knows exactly what she's doing. Katvanga. Inflating the market, more like. Well, think of it like this. Is that a Art book? Art has become an investment. A, a way for rich people to evade tax, uh, trade in insubstantials, and, and build reputations. Jameson facilitates that. Oh, shit. Are you gonna mention like where she, she put her the book? Lives of artists and gallery owners with her scheming. Uh, an unfortunate side effect. Damn, this guy is a renegade. I like that. But what about the book? I'm trying to locate the book. Forest. Maybe I should follow the lady Hello. and. That is Miranda Jameson, art price fixer, thief and responsible for at least three artists' suicides. Oh, she has like a bodyguard following her, I think. Yeah, that's her bodyguard, bruh. Okay, I should just follow her, because I think she, she will take me to the book. Oh, I think. Oh, I can totally drop the chandelier on the beach, but the guy is looking. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta like find a way to like kill her bodyguard or like get rid of him. Now, let's see. Mm, good. Good day to you, sir. Good day to you, foe. Okay, there's a guy inside that can tell that good I'm not. Oh yeah, maybe that's the book. I trust you are being as delicate as possible here. Don't worry, Mrs. Jameson. I'm being very careful with the piece. Which is why it's taking a little longer than usual. Excellent. Shit. Oh shit, that's the book. Hell yeah. But how we finna go get it? Excellent, 47. That's okay, I got the book. Secured. Okay, cool. So yeah, now we got to find a way to have an agreement, right? The scream with you let me know thing? the moment Apparently. Randall Price arrives. To like I told you before, Mrs. Mrs. Jameson, I'll let you know. So We're not expecting Mr. Price, Price to arrive. Mr. Price. You know. So the cool thing is we got like the book and we um 
Now all we gotta do is kill the beach, but I don't know how. If I can, I would like to make it accidental, but... If push comes to shove, I might just put a silencer bullet in her dome. Traditionally. Let me pick up that soda can, Dr. Pepper. They call it Dr. Pop. Kind of looks like the font of like the actual Dr. Pepper drink. Oh shit. What the hell? Oh, I could totally kill this bitch. Oh, that's how you kill her. You find a wrench and then you loosen the the valve. And then when she takes a smoke break, she lights herself on fire. And it's like totally accidental, but I don't know where to find a wrench. What just that? Okay, they got a screwdriver here, but where's the wrench? Is that a wrench? Yeah, I don't know where to find a wrench. Is that a wrench? Oh no. I keep confusing the legs of like one of the light stands as a wrench, but it ain't a wrench. Oh shit, they got enforcers here. I wonder if you could just shoot the, the tank. Looking good. Looking good. Good evening. Yeah, that's a potential place I could kill her. It's like just um loosen this thing. If I shoot it with a gun, it might explode, man. So I was, I don't know. I don't know where she went. Isn't she probably back here? Okay, so. Hope you're having a good one. I gotta find a wrench, bro. But how am I supposed to do that? Zoe, I've been looking for you. Or should I say, Madam Chairwoman? <laughs> Don't make me feel old. Nonsense. You and Sophia are the most exciting people I know. Oh, that's yes. a wrench there. Can I come through? Oh, that's the wrench I've been looking for, boy. So now I can kill the bitch. And then it's all just a waiting game. Cool. I hope I remember how to get back there. I think I came through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here, fool. Trying to kill a beach. Yeah, loosening it is like totally illegal. How long is this guy gonna smoke? I mean, he wasn't here before, was he? Or, or was he? I can't do my job here if I don't recover it. Nothing. It will take me weeks to reproduce everything. Shit, how do I get rid of this dude? This dude never stops smoking. Oh shit, she's coming here. <laughs> Wow, this guy never stops smoking, man. Oh, now he stopped smoking. Okay, where is he going? Okay, get the fuck out of here, son. Okay, beat it, lady. Uh oh. Oh, 
Okay. There we go. There we go. That was clean. Oh, fuck. They finna come here. And... Hello there, sir. That's how you kill a bitch. It's gonna be totally accidental. Have a good evening, sir. You know what? I think I should probably head back. And, like, get my suit. I like to stick around and, like, watch the, the thing, but... I think it's probably safer to just get the fuck out of here. Cause like, there's like chances I can still be caught. If you say so, Mrs. Jameson. So I'm gonna head back. I mean, the lady is gonna go there and she's gonna just smoke and blow herself up, right? So... If I, as long as I trust that's gonna happen, we good. The gifting is about securing our cultural legacy. It's not a I like to slide down, but that guy's watching. I could go the long way, but I don't. I don't know. Come on, beat it! Get the fuck out of here! I'm trying to get out of here, son. Get out of here! Yeah. Ooh, someone almost saw me. Who the fuck almost saw me? Whoa, I have full jurisdiction to come here. There's no, um... Okay, now we go here. Get back our original suit. Climb out the window. Go back down the wall. Cool. And now we just wait for that bitch to get smoked up. And we escape on the boat. Right? That's how you do it. Textbook. Silent assassin. Never get caught. Like James Bond. Right? World record time. Wow, I gotta go investigate whatever the fuck that is sometime, man. It was never part of the quest, I, I don't think. I never knew that even existed up there. Yeah, I'm just enjoying the, the ocean. Wouldn't it be cool if Agent 47 actually smokes? You know? Uh-oh. The goons are heading over here. Is that bitch ever going to smoke it up and blow herself up? Come on. I guess it's going to take a while. Damn, bitch, where you at? Job done, 47. Head for an exit, and I'll wire the money as per usual. Accidental kill. Exit mission. <laughs> Exiting this mission in style. Damn, girl. Accident kill. That ain't my fault. <laughs> if you smoke, that's on you. Okay. Damn. I got only a 4 out of 5 stars. I guess it's maybe the, the amount of time I took to do it. I kind of hate that. I kind of hate that, that they factor in time, you know? Yeah, we did it. Oh, there's another one, right? After this. Because, like, the arcade mode is, like, you gotta kill, like, two to three people. Damn, boy! Okay, so we gotta retrieve the ivory white. It's a fine filigree egg. The target is Howard Moxon. Okay, let's play the... 
Good afternoon, 47. Good afternoon. Your target is Howard Moxon, an international antiquities trader who specializes in selling priceless art to finance terrorist organizations. Oh shit, are you going He's Paris? He's currently involved in the sale of the Ivory White, a filigree egg looted during the Second World War. The client has requested that you both eliminate the target and locate and retrieve the original Ivory White. This priceless artifact is most likely in one of the museum's safes. Oh shit, target has armed civilian bodyguard. Good luck. What does she mean by the clock is ticking? Like you gotta do this in like a few seconds or something? Damn. So we gotta kill the guy and then we gotta get this egg. So it's pretty much like the previous mission except instead of the notebook. Good afternoon, 47. Your target has been spotted on the ground floor and should be easy enough to recognize. We have not yet discovered the location of the Ivory White, however. Good hunting, 47. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the that's the one that's gonna like be a fucking issue. So we could be really strategic about this. We could get rid of the security cameras. Um, fuck, how do I do that again? Damn, what's up, girl? Welcome, sir. Enjoy the show. Vic Victor Novikov. That's Novikov, the owner of Sanguine, right there. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go get like a, a guard's outfit or something. Look, Daniel. She's, nice. She's nice. Man, I wish I had that jaw. <laughs> Stop, you look fine. I know I look fine, but he's like a, like a Greek god or something. Okay, turn this on. Go inside. Fuck him up. Activated. Ooh, fuck out of here. Okay, that was a little hairy because the door didn't almost didn't close. So like whatever, there was a guy like behind that could almost see me. This is my always my go-to, man. What a do, Syndicate! Welcome back to the stream, my boy. <laughs> How you living, bro? bro? How you living? Talk to me. Got your PS5 yet, boy? Yeah, I'm doing like a mission. It's like not the regular like mission. It's like a, a, like a new target and shit. So I gotta kill like a dude that looks like a fucking nerd. And I gotta steal his 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 testicle that is inside this white egg. This is like Harry Potter when he retires, man. He got bald, but he still wear the glasses, hoping people would recognize him. What up? What up? What up? Where the fuck is this egg, though? Oh, maybe they kept it over here. Maybe I'll take a look here. Or maybe they kept it like in a very high secure location. I need like a better outfit though. Cause this security outfit is like just a basic one. It, it doesn't get me like past like like a certain part, uh, a certain area. Sinekis is kind of under the weather, but good. I will have it soon. Yo, I hope you feel better. But you sound so weird talking like that, bro. You know, you know, you know, like who talks like that? Like, I feel under the weather. Are you a British person, syndicate? You know how Americans speak, bro? You can say, yo, I don't feel good. Or I'm feeling sick. That's how the Americans speak. You know how a British person speak? I kind of feel under the weather. Fuck out of here with that, Syndicate. I thought you were an American, man. That guy looks a lot like Helmut Kruger. You a spy, bro. Yeah. You Syndicate. You a spy. You're not American like me. Yeah, I know you're sick. Hope you feel better, man. You got a fever or something? Or you caught VD from some uh, hooker. 
Do you cat VD? What's going on? Yo, can I can I come through? Hey brother, what's up? What up, bro? Damn, this place is loud. Oh, is that wait a minute. Is that a guy we gotta kill? Or is that Victor Novikov? Oh that's Victor Novikov. Victor Novikov. Yo, I'm sorry, bro. I hope you feel better. If anything, you know, just like make sure you drink lots of water, get plenty of sleep, you know, beat off, do what you gotta do, and you'll feel you feel good, man. <laughs> well, at least this line looks like real clothes. I feel <laughs> under the weather. What are you like a fucking prince? Talking to me like that, bro? When you come to my stream, you better sit straight. Fucking Pring Sinekeete over here. You wish? Hey man, you gotta chill out, man. Hope your seasonal gig is like treating you right. You know what I mean? It's like, um... Yeah, I, I know you work hard and all, but like, you know, what's the point of working hard when you drop dead? You know what I mean? I always gotta say, man, I appreciate you always coming through on my streams. <laughs> really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. I, I love you. No homo. Yo, how the fuck? Oh, wait. We need to get rid of that uh, security tape. Beautiful. All security surveillance systems has been disabled. Like a professional. Alright, so I'm gonna go to the showers and see if I can get a bodyguard's like uniform. Cause like the the outfit that I'm wearing is, is gonna get me busted. It's not foolproof. Oh wait a minute. Is that a bodyguard outside? I think it might be do. Uh, what the hell is a bare knuckle boxer? A what? Oh no, they are just waiters. Novikov. Yes. They're just waiters. They are garçons. I think in French, like garçon means like boy, right, or some shit like that. So when you say garçon, it's actually like not polite. I don't know, or maybe it is. Oh wait, we got an outfit over here. Palace staff. Palace staff can can get you like very far, right? Shit, I need a bodyguard outfit, bro. How do I get one? Getting pissed off. Yo, they, they got crowbars everywhere. Oh, let me get that red poison. So I can put it in someone's tea. Prince Senekid over here talking like a British poison. Get the fuck out of here. I'm just playing, bro, Sineki. I love you. Merry Christmas, man. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I've been doing this for such a long time, man. I wasn't even sure I wanted to stream today, but, like, I decided that, like, you know, I'm gonna be doing this for the long haul, so... And I love this game. I love this game, so I should, like, stream more often. I didn't stream yesterday because, like, I had some business to take care of. And, um, yeah, I think like next week, the first stream of the week, the first stream day of the week, I, I, I might not be able to stream because I, I have to go meet up with family, man. Family. Every time I say that fucking word, I think of like Fast and Furious, you know? Vin Diesel. Family. Family. Fucking dude, man. Family. It's all about family. Right? Like, didn't they went to space in the last movie? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, how does it get any more crazier than that, bro? Holy shit. Fly Fabla. 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 You gotta say it with your chest. Fabla. Oh, shit. Um, uh, 
Yo. Have I been here before? I don't remember this place. Okay, if I climb in, is it illegal? Ooh, they got a wrench. Give me that. Oh shit, they got security guards crawling all over the fucking place. Fabler. You know, like, there's a game I, I want to play, but it's so difficult to stream it. And I don't think I can enjoy it because... Like... A big part of the game, in my honest opinion, is about the music, right? And I can't stream that shit. Because I can't stream copyrighted music. I'm gonna get busted. I'm gonna get my ass kicked by Twitch cops. Right? So, and the game I'm talking about is like uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales. Like, I would like to play that shit, but I, I can't. Right? So I think I might do it on my downtime, like, you know, um, when I'm not streaming. I got a new TV. Did I mention that? I waited so long for this goddamn TV, man. I've been looking at this TV since, like, the middle of this year. Uh, it's a LG C2 OLED. So if you don't know what an OLED is, an OLED TV is, like, when each individual pixel of the television is lighted by, like, its own, like, light. So like, when the scene goes black, the all the all the OLED does it turns off. So you get really dark blacks. <laughs> Shout out to black people, but you know what I'm saying, right? Like you like uh, you you get really dark blacks, and like the picture is like super 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 sexual, super crystal clear, super beautiful. You know what I mean? So I've been waiting for one for a long time, and like the one that I was looking at was the 42 inch, um. And I waited till Black Friday. And, you know, like, I think the price went down from uh, 2.4 to 2.2, right? So I almost bought it. And I was like, I was asking the, the sales guy, like, hey, um, do you think the price can go down even further during Christmas? And he was like, I don't know, but you, you, you could wait to find out. So I, I just waited, right? And... Christmas came along and they they, sh they shaved off another hundred bucks. They shaved off another hundred bucks from the price. So I bought the TV for 2049. 249. 2049 man. I saved myself like in total like 400 bucks. That's a lot of pocket change man. Yeah, and uh, instead of getting the 42 inch, I got the 48. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Size matters, bro. Don't let anyone tell you different. Right? So 48 inches. And yeah, um, kind of looking forward to watching TV. My old TV got got fucked up. Like the screen like ha had air bubbles around it. And it uh, got warped. Like whenever I turn on the TV, and like the screen would be warped around the sides. And like the, my old TV is like ten years old or something. It's a Sony Bravia, and it had like one of those functions like where you can wear 3D glasses, and like my TV would play like images in 3D because that was like the the hot shit back in the day, right? The hot shit back in the day was like being able to watch like TV with 3D. But I guess not anymore. Like, I guess 3D is kind of like a fucking phase. Yo. Oh, shit. Can I get like a better suit over here somewhere? I think I gotta go upstairs. I get me one of them bodyguard outfits. Mm, let me see. Yeah, so I'm I'm really looking forward to like the TV, and it's like really rare that I, I can look forward to shit, right? But the TV is only gonna get delivered uh on January. Apparently, they didn't have stock, and it's gonna be like freshly flown over by from Korea, 
And I don't really mind that because like, I feel like whenever you buy like electronics like later, uh, they, you know, the companies tend to fix like whatever the, the it has issues with in the first place. Okay, I think I want to get one of them outfits. Can I can I get one of the outfits from here? I wonder if they ever they even look here though. Okay, fuck it. Let's risk it. I'm going to risk it all. Hey, go check that shit out, foe. Okay, this guy's just a guy. Okay, quickly, quickly! Put him in the fucking wardrobe. Like Tom Cruise. Pick back my coin. Take the gun, put it in my back, walk up this guy, yeah, boy, got your ass, fuck out of here, I'm a straight savage bro, don't test me, professional, professional as fuck, so where the fuck is this egg, oh shit, okay, there's like people inside this room that are enforcers, they can, they can tell that I'm not, Oh shit, maybe the egg is in here. Know what I'm saying? It's, it, it looks like, it looks like a, a spot where you would put your egg to be extra protected and shit. Oh shit. Where the egg at, fool? Give me that rat poison. Okay, I don't think the egg is here, man. Probably is on another floor. Damn, the lighting is amazing, bro. I'm so glad I got a PS Poiber. A POS survivor. Very good. Give me that hammer. Uh, yo, I don't see the egg here, though. Shit, this place is like very dangerous. Eh? Fuck, I, I just want to get out of here, but I can. Cause all these guys be snitching. Contractor did this whole light rig setup. It's the flimsiest shit I've ever seen. Do these bozos realize what happens if it's shit? Everybody on stage will be crushed. Uh uh, never gonna happen. Oh, yeah? Murphy's Law, ring a bell? Yeah, yeah. If anything that can go wrong actually went. Damn, okay, give me that hammer. Yeah, I don't know if the egg is here or not. Could be. I have a feeling like maybe the egg could be here. Man, I gotta go pee uh soon. I think I turned up my AC too cold. You know, when you live in Singapore, especially a really tropical country, you gotta turn up the AC, man. Otherwise, your PC is going to like fucking fry. Okay, so I'm in the rich area. Damn, what up, girl? Trend Poe, 
Damn, girl, you fine as fuck. She's so pretty. I have been following your band's career with great interest. Yo, okay, where the egg? Delgado Cartel. Como estas? Puto. Damn, I really love games that got mirrors, man. Look at how beautiful I am. Looking sharp as shit. Wow, look at the look at the graphics, man. That's incredible. I hope IOI makes more Hitman games. I think like from what I heard, they are making a James Bond game. I don't know how that works. I, I guess like maybe like it's kind of like Hitman, but you're playing as Mr. Bond, James Bond. I like my martini shaken, not stirred. Come shit in my Ashton Martin. Damn girl, you fine. You know why? Why do do pretty girls are like usually the worst sometimes? You know what I mean? On, chest out, chin up. It feels like sometimes it, like pretty girls is like. How's it going? They look pretty, but like. Oh, and Helmut, don't forget to have fun. Oh shit! Oh god! Oh god! What have I gotten myself into? Helmut, Helmut Kruger. Is there anything in this bathroom? No, Elmut Kruger. Um, yo. Yeah, I don't know. Where the fuck is this egg? I guess it's probably in the art section. Elmut Kruger. Yeah, you look a very beautiful, yeah. Be careful out there. Um, yo, damn, look at all that food, man. Is that cheese? Damn. You know, I've been a good boy, man. I haven't like drank a whole lot of alcohol. I think like the only time I drink like nowadays is like only once a month. Whenever I, I go out and I would order like a beer at a restaurant. But I haven't stocked beer in my, my place for, for a long time, man. Because I'm trying to be more spiritual, man. I'm trying to be more spiritual. I had like better dreams though. Like, um, when I was drinking like really heavily, I couldn't dream. And like, I did some research, like according to like ancient civilizations, like dreaming is very important. If you want to be a better person and like have a better life, you gotta like have dreams. Because dreams will help you resolve like some issues. Huh. Wow. Never knew this stuff was so complicated. What's this? Hey, uh, buddy. Uh, I wanna leave that alone. You know, it's, it's really weird to say this, but like dream. The hell? Uh, I think the egg is probably here. Yeah, I'm, and I'm trying to be as vegetarian as possible. Which is weird because I love eating meat, but... Ever since I quit eating meat... I mean, the only meat I would eat is like fish, right? Um... So I guess I'm not exactly a full vegetarian, I'm more like pescatarian. But it's really good. Like, um, not eating meat makes me feel more calm and chill. I'm I'm more on edge whenever I eat like lots of meat for some reason. Damn, the lockpick Mark Three takes forever to open. Okay, I'm trying to look for this egg, but I don't know where it is. Where it be? I think this is like heading towards the gift shop. I think. Oh yes, this is someone's room. Um, yeah, I don't think it's here. Wow, pair of scissors, I'll take that. I always pick up stuff, right? Because like in order to do certain things in this game, you need like a wrench, you need like a crowbar. And if you don't have any of those, you kind of like fuck shit up. And like caused like an accident and shit. In 
Yeah, maybe the egg is somewhere here. The cool part is like I don't have to worry about security cameras because I, I shot the, the security camera box. Oh, maybe it's here. Damn, this game is really, really beautiful. As Prank Sineke would say. Because currently, Prank Sineke is feeling under the wet, under the weather. Do you know what I mean? Sineke hasn't been getting any minge. So that's why he feels under the weather. Do you know what I mean? Fucking Sineke, bruh. Love you, bro. But no homo. Oh shit, I don't think I've ever been in here. Wow, it's like a art, art, art museum shit. Give me them coins, okay? Uh, briefcase? Yeah, I don't see the egg, bro. I guess if they're gonna like, oh wait, shit, can I climb this shit? Oh! I can climb this? Yo, I didn't- I never been to this part of the building. Oh wait, have I been here before? Yo, let me just drop this fucking gun, man. I- I don't need this gun. Hey, what it do, Mike? You can call me funny man, Mike. Hey, what it do? How you doing, man? Are you a Hitman fan? Welcome to the stream. Merry Christmas or Happy Hanukkah. Happy Holidays. Hope you have a good one, man. What's your favorite level? Right now, I'm doing a contracts mission where I gotta kill this guy and I gotta steal an egg. It's like an arcade contract mission. So right now, I'm trying to locate the egg, but I don't know where it is. And we are in Paris, France. That's how you say it, right? Paris, Paris. If you want to sound extra fancy. What the hell? The big building next to Central Park? I don't think it's a good idea to run through these guys because they're gonna like, they're gonna see through my disguise. You have to see probably Sapienza. Sapienza is a really good one. It's like really beautiful. And there's like so much like levels to it, right? There's the lab. There's like the mansion. Well, what's this guy? The guy named Delgado? Oh, oh wait, Delgado is probably from the cartel, but uh, it's like some like dude, right? I think my favorite way to kill him is to like put the explosive golf ball, uh, like and I like blow his shit up, right? Silvio Caruso. Yeah, I knew that. Thank you for reminding me about something I already knew. Selvio Caruso, yeah. Yo, that map was tight. That map was tight. Hey, what it do, Van Vanilla Daddy? Hi, Daddy. Vanilla Daddy. Damn, what's up? Damn, you guys are, have really uh weird names. What's up? Merry Christmas, man. Merry Christmas. Oh, I remember the last Christmas I had last year. Uh, I was playing this map and we had to find Santa Claus and kill him. That shit was tight. He fucking choked that fat fuck. <laughs> Haven't seen you since Sekiro and Death Stranding. That's a long time ago. Daddy? I don't remember your name, daddy. Fuck, man. I'm gonna just call you Vanilla. Yeah, I don't remember your name, Vanilla, but that's a long time. Sekiro is tight. And just to like give you guys a heads up, like I haven't even finished Elden Ring. Uh, I just made it to the castle and I, I lost like the girl with the tattoo on her face. Like she peaced out. And yeah, I, I do intend to go back and play some Elden Ring, but I think I wanted to take a break from it because it's like so fucking depressing. You know, and I never play like a Dark Souls game that lasted so long. Cause like with most like Souls games, like eventually it ends, right? And then you can go on, go go on to play other games that are happier, that have like good vibes. Like I love the Souls franchise. Don't get me wrong. 
But I'm gonna be honest, bro. That shit is kind of depressing sometimes. Sometimes when I play that game, I, I feel like, you know, I might want to commit Sudoku myself, right? Except this time I ain't gonna re respawn in real life. Yeah. So I'm still playing Elden Ring, you know? Um, but I think I'll go back to it when it's like a dry season. When there's like no games coming out. I'm really excited for Harry Potter Legacy. Shoutouts to my boy Slytherin. I want to be a Dark Lord, but I don't think they, they let you play like that. Yeah, that game is lonely as fuck. The only, like, friend you have is, like, your horse. And is the, isn't that how, like, cl cl Chlamydia is started? All the Souls games are kind of lonely and secluded feeling. But the difference is, like, every Souls game have, like, an ending. Elden Ring doesn't seem to have an ending. It's like that world goes on like on and on and on and on and I'm like yo get me out of here bro I mean don't get me wrong it is it is a beautiful game right but isn't it funny like no matter how beautiful something is you can get really used to it like a lot of people like want to get married to a supermodel or they want to get married to a really beautiful lady but I fucking guarantee you, you'll get sick of her. You get sick of her. Have you played Callisto Protocol? Um, I want to because I'm a big fan of Dead Space. I, I love the original Dead Space and like the creators of, you know, De Dead Space made Callisto. But I just got done completing Resident Evil Village on hardcore mode. First playthrough. If you missed the playthrough, the playthrough is on the YouTube channel. Just... Go to YouTube, type Old Scurry TV, and you will find my play. You will find my playthrough, and eventually I will play a uh, Callisto. But I gotta take a break, man, from horror games, man. Every time I play a horror game, I feel like my lifespan is shortened by like two years or some shit. You know what I mean? It's like I like horror games, man. But yo, Village, Resident Evil Village was was kind of long. Like my dick. You know what I mean? And he had some heft. Yeah. Callisto Protocol, I think is gonna be tight. I, you know what? I don't even know how he's gonna look like. I just, I just know like from the uh, poster, it was like this, this dude in an astronaut suit. And I know it's about like dead zombies in space, but I never actually saw a trailer for it because I wanted to keep it like, like spoiler free. Right? I wanted to like look at the game with fresh eyes. So, like, yeah, I'm not looking at any trailers, and I'm not, like, uh, playing any demos. Sineki says TMI owes PG-13. Wait, what, what you mean? I don't remember what I said three seconds ago, let alone yesterday. Fuck you me, man. You haven't played Village yet, but I really enjoy Callisto. Yeah. Callisto seems pretty cool, I guess, it, as long as, like, the, the original dude that worked on Dead Space. Oh, but isn't there also a Dead Space remake? I saw it on PSN store, and the, 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 the fucking, um, the screenshots look really crispy. Yeah, like, I might get the Dead Space remake, but, like, yo, they gotta chill out with the horror games, man. Give me a, a stealth game or something. Right? Isn't it kind of sad that, like, we haven't got, like, a Metal Gear game for a really long time. I'm really sad, bro. Even even though Kojima is kind of a bitch, because, like, Death Stranding was trash. You know, like, his last few games were really shitty. Especially, like, like Phantom Pain and Ground Zeroes. Like, oh my god, bro. Like, I wanted to stab my eyes out, because, like, that shit was so whack. You know what I'm saying? Wait, we are we getting a Splinter Cell remake? Or are you just like saying like uh you wish? Yeah, I wish. Yo, Splinter Cell remake with the original voice actor Michael Ironside. I remember there was a Splinter Cell game they fucking changed the voice the voice guy. The fuck, right? Oh, Cell remake is coming. But are we get are we getting Michael Ironside? I mean, the, the, the dude that played uh, Sam Fisher, right? Yo, Sam Fisher's voice actor, 
he literally sounds like he comes from the military. Like, if there's a guy who has a more manly voice than Solid Snake, it's gotta be, like, Sam Fisher, man. And Sam Fisher is a bitch. No offense. Like, I'm on Team Metal Gear, man. Splinter Cell will never be like Metal Gear because, like, number one, the goggles that he puts on his head is cool, but at the same time, so stupid. And, like, uh, Sam Fisher's always gotta wear his, like, fucking gym suit. Right? Isn't that shit whack? But I gotta, I gotta shit on Metal Gear sometimes too, right? Because like in Metal Gear Solid 2, like holy shit. If you look at Solid Snake's outfit, like his butt cheeks like swallows up his, sh his shirt. That shit is like so whack. Kojima is making part two a walking simulator. Yeah, I heard that man. But thank God that shit is only gonna be on Xbox, right? Because like Xbox was the one that put money in his pocket. You love Metal Gear and Splinter Cell? Yeah, I love those games, man. But I don't like the like the the first few Splinter Cell games. They were really like linear. I tried streaming the first like two Splinter Cell games and I ended up flushing them. They were just, like so linear. Right? I couldn't do shit in them. And sometimes it's like super random when like the enemies will see you or not see you. I don't like that. I like consistency. If, if you want to play like a, a stealth game, it's got to be made by a Japanese person. Because they got to be really meticulous about it. They got to be meticulous about the, the level design, the level planning. The problem with playing like stealth games when it's made by a Western studio is they, they always give you the nuclear option where you can blow everyone's head off. But, but where Metal Gear, if you don't play it correct, you don't play it right, if you get caught, you know, it's it's a wrap. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I'm trying to find this fucking egg, bro. But I don't know where it is. Do you guys play, like, the contract? Like, this is not, like, a main story mission, but it's, like, one of them, like, limited edition time only for the next three hours. If you don't play this, it's gone forever kind of mission. Yeah, Kojima making Death Stranding 2 is one of the stupidest things I ever heard, bro. I don't even understand the first game. Right? And I really tried. But I wasn't gonna read all them stupid emails, bro. Remember the fucking emails in that fucking game? Where there's like a 10,000 emails you gotta read to like piece together the story? Like, I would rather go watch YouTube. Go watch YouTube and, you know, like, listen to people talk about and, like, really research the game. Vanilla says, I thought both were great stealth-wise. I don't think, like, the stealth in uh, Spinner Cell is, like, as good as Metal Gear. Because it almost feels like every stealth, like, moment you have with, like, bad guys is, like, so scripted. It feels like you have to do a specific to thing know. to do the thing. If there's a Splinter Cell that I think is really, really good, it's a Splinter Cell Conviction. It's really good. Right? I, I love the fact that if you, like, take out a guard, CQC, uh, it rewards you by letting you, like, you know, like, shoot everyone's heads, like, instantly. That shit was tight. That shit was tight. And I like the fact that, like, Sam Fisher wasn't wearing his tidy, whitey, a uh, gimp outfit, right? He he actually looked like he like was Jason Bourne. I likes that. That was sick. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! He almost saw me. He almost saw me. He almost saw me. Chill out. Chill out. Dishonored was good stealth, and so was Thief. Uh, I played the first Dishonored, and I played Thief. I like the graphics. I like the first person element to it, but I also felt that. Dishonored and Thief were kind of janky. You know what I mean? It, it felt kind of janky. It, it just felt like, you know, especially Dishonored was like so overpowered, bro. Holy shit. Like, if you ever remember playing the first Dishonored game, you're like literally God. You can disappear, fucking Kage Bunshin no Jutsu, whatever the fuck, Sharingan, you know, like, it's, it was crazy. You, yeah, you felt the jank, right? But it was a good experience, you know? I'm gonna give it its flowers. I'm not gonna say it was like totally shit, but... 
Yeah, Dishonored was like I I wish I gave the second game a chance because I heard like Dishonored two was kind of tight, but you played it on the hardest difficulty. So did I, but like the first one was like so like I don't know like what's the word for it like no matter what you did like you have to always do certain things a certain way and the story was always gonna be the same shit. Do you know what I mean? door unlocked yo um the magic about playing hitman is like when i ever when i play this mission um like again i always find like an area that i've never visited or i always find something really cool about it i really love the hitman franchise like my favorite hitman game is blood money uh vanilla is to an extent yeah to an extent it's like it, you know, Dishonored is like that, but it, it's a really cool concept. I really like the art design they went with it, but the AI always felt like kind of stupid. You know, and they have like that whole like British thing. Hey, governor, what do we have over here? Kind of feeling under the weather. Like Sineke. What color is your Bugatti? You know, it's like... Yeah. It was kinda cool. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. It was it was real nice. But um uh, holy shit. I don't remember them being guards over there. <gasps> He's coming. That's an Anfoasa. Get the fuck out of here. Oh shit! The fuck? Yo vanilla, did you used to go by another name? Because I don't remember you from like I mean, you did mention that uh, you were around since like uh, the uh, fucking Sekiro days, which is pretty awesome. That means you're pretty, pretty much OG. And just a quick reminder, man, if you guys are new to the channel, show your boy some love, hit that up, follow bud? button. You know, you don't have to sub up, but you can just follow the channel, man. Spread the word. Cynic T says, come on now. I said it only one time out. Still talking like a British person, Sandy Kate. Stop it. You're American. America never bows to Britain. You know what happened, man? We always, you know, you want to run back, run it back, that tea party. Want to run it back? Do sex, I enjoy it for stealth. Always been vanilla. I was stream a lot, but. But UT didn't chat much. Oh, okay. I guess I forgot, man. My bad. You're, you're probably right. Like, yeah, you, like, I guess you were here. Daddy, vanilla daddy. But I forgot. That's on me. You were seeing stream alone, but didn't chat much. That's fine. That's totally fine. I'm totally, I'm totally good if you guys lurk. Cause like personally, when I watch streams, and I've been watching some streams lately, cause like you know, I, I took a break from streaming for like a month, cause I was really burned out. I was streaming for already four years, and uh, I needed a break. And you know, I I watch other people's streams so that I can like kind of get a fresh perspective on what it feels like to be a viewer again. Cause like all of us was viewers before we even tried streaming. I was a viewer. So, it was cool. How is the cat? Oh, Kaya, Kaya is amazing, man. Uh, if you check the Discord, I, I post like photos of her from time to time. Did you play Deuce X? I tried it, but I never fully played it. That's one of the regrets I have. It's like, I, I never really played it, but like from my memory of it, it was really good. It was like, there's a lot of choices and the, the methods you you can go in like you can go in really hot or you can go in like really stealth and like you can transform your arms into like like fucking wolverine blades and shit it was pretty it was pretty sick right and i like the whole cyberpunk like look of it yeah i i, I never really completed a, a single um deuce x game because you got to remember deuce x is kind of an old game human revolution or mankind divided those are the new ones all right but I think there was an older one to that, the original Deus Ex for PC. 
um this was like the era of like the 90s and the early 2000s like i i remember seeing deuce x on my friend's pc but i think i was busy playing doom um or quake i think i played like some counter-strike like like i played like some piece like you know deuce x like even hitman isn't an, a, an, a new game like hitman 1 is a really old pc game yeah the first deuce x was 99 or 2000 yeah it was long long as time ago man i think at that time i was playing a lot of the playstation 1 i was playing like um crash bandicoot metal gear solid 1 final fantasy 7 8 or 9 some good times man yeah but i i hope like the studio remakes a uh, deuce x and they remake it with like fresh graphics right what if you get what what if you can get like a deuce x with like hitman graphics holy shit and everything looks cyberpunk and and fresh as fuck you know what i mean yeah but i know what you're talking about if you when you talk about deuce x because like uh, i never fully played a full game but i've always known about it and I heard like uh, some of the new ones wasn't that good though. Like I, I, I don't remember which one it was like Human Revolution. Uh, I think there was one where if you play from stealth from the start, it's only going to come up and bite you in the ass because later you have to fight a boss and he's going to fight you straight up. Like your stealth mechanics isn't going to work the whole game. The game forces you to play it like, like brute, like shoot, shooting and like attacking even though you, that's not the style you wanted. So that's why I didn't really fuck with the newer Deus Ex games. Cause I heard it was like, it had some issues. Say the word, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm trying to find like an egg, bro. I, I think I searched like this whole fucking place, but I don't know where it is. Maybe it's on the higher floors or some shit. Yeah, I've been here already, but I don't know where the egg is. Damn, it's really good to see you though, Vanilla. What what games are you guys excited for next year? Like next year, I'm really looking forward to Hogwarts Legacy. Even though I shit on Harry Potter a lot, but I'm I'm really like down for for that open world, um, like you know, game. You thought it was good for stealth, really? But isn't there like bosses that can take you out? Like uh, like you have to fight them not using stealth that like you have to like use your bullets and shit and if, if you've been playing stealth up to that point like once you reach that boss part and your shit is not leveled up uh you're gonna get like fucked i don't know i, I don't know what i'm talking about this is what i, I just heard about like the do sex games oh buddy Yo, Blood Money was the shit, bro. Have you guys played Blood Money? Hitman Blood Money? That was such a good game. It is like, damn, like I love that game so much. And I really feel like uh, Hitman 3 is like a, or, or like at least the Hitman reboot is like a really great spiritual successor. I really appreciate the new Hitman games. Was that a key? Save key? You don't recall that? I played full stealth, hardest difficulty, and don't recall getting stuck on a boss in that way. I could be wrong. You might be right. That this is just what I read and what I heard. You know. Um Yeah. I got like a safe key. Maybe like maybe the thing I need is in a safe. I know you had to set it up fast, but you can't just toss equipment around like it's Damn. It's Miss Margolis's private laptop. What other games am I looking forward to? Let me think. Um, uh, I heard like Resident Evil 4 remake is coming out. But do you guys feel like the horror genre is getting getting kind of saturated? It's like there was a period of time we we weren't getting any good survival horror games, but now it's like every other month like a a survival horror game is coming out. You know what I mean? Yeah, RE Remake looks awesome. Like, uh, you're talking about 4, right? 
I played like all the remakes so far. Yeah, I played like RE2, RE3 remake. I even played like RE1 remake. I think it's just called RE make, remake. Yeah, 4 looks really good. I don't doubt that they're going to do a good job, but it just feels like... I feel kind of burnt out with horror games. You know, I want to have like more like variety. It's been a while since I played a great RPG game. You know, shout out to The Witcher. Recently, The Witcher 3 had like an update. You know what's funny? I got the entire Witcher 3 on PS5 for free. Because I, I've been a PlayStation Plus member for, for quite a while. So I got the base Witcher 3 game for free. Would you throw yourself on a grenade and then like whoever owns the base Witcher 3 game uh, will get like the PS5 update for free. So I got the PS5 Witcher game for free. I remember like getting a really beefed up PC just to play the Witcher 3 and it, it looks so good. Right? I got a GTX 1080 Ti, I got a, a i7 Intel, you know, processor and it was cool. It looks really good. Really, really good. You're excited for Stalker, 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 Stalker 2, Diablo 4. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty hyped for Diablo 4. I'm not looking forward to the new Mass Effect because like of what they did with like Andromeda. Like Andromeda was like so whack that, yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I don't trust, like, Bioware. I have a feeling, like, all the great Bioware uh, employees probably left the company already. Yeah, Andromeda was really shitty. And if that is any indication of what, like, Mass Effect is going to look like moving forward, yeah, I'm not too, like, hype on that. Where the fuck is this thing? Yeah, but I hope it's good though. I might, I'm actually looking forward to uh, Starfield. Even though I know for a fact that Starfield is just going to be Elder Scrolls in space. But it's been a while. Oh, Knights of the Old Republic remake is coming. I heard about that. But I'm not too sure about that either. Starfield looks alright. Like, I think concept-wise, it, it's pretty cool. But if you actually analyze the gameplay footage, there was like major frame drops whenever the shooting started. And the AI looks dumb as fuck, right? The AI in the Starfield like trailer, like he was literally running at the player, right? And I get it, you know, like whenever you play like any games, like whenever they have enemies and shit, the enemies are not supposed to be like smart, right? They are just supposed to be there for you to kill them. But I don't know. I would appreciate my enemies being a little bit smart. At least like the AI being smart because like Starfield is supposed to be about a world, right? And how how are you going to make a believable world when your your dudes like are like fucking I don't know, crash test dummies. They don't do shit. So. They just run at you. Right? What I always find weird about games is like whenever games have like, um, they have like the enemy like kind of announce like their location. Like, he's not over here. I can't find him. Reloading. You know, I, I don't, it, I get it. You know, like they have to do that because like, it's kind of like letting the player know where they're at. But I kind of like enemies that are smart. Oh shit. I think I accidentally bumped into him. Seems like Bethesda games are notorious for terrible AI. Yeah, because like the principle of like what they believe about AI is kind of whack. You know what I mean? Like I, I watched like an interview with Todd Howard recently and he kind of like mention it he was like you know what enemies or ais are is they are just there for you to shoot at something that's why he said like i do agree with it to a certain extent because like yeah you have to make enemies killable right but they don't innovate with ai and they're still using that shitty ass creation engine from like 1969 bro 
That shit is so broken. You know, like, Todd Howard is, like, fucking lazy in that aspect. Like, he doesn't want to update the engine. Imagine if, like, IOI Interactive, like, used the original Blood Money engine for the new games. It's not going to be cool. They needed to create a new engine for, like, Hitman 3. You know, it's stupid. Bethesda, bro. I love Bethesda, but I hate Bethesda sometimes. Like, I felt like they are, the, the last Fallout game, Fallout 4, was kind of whack. Like, your choices didn't matter. Like, the conversations that your the characters have was, like, so basic. You know, it didn't feel like... It didn't feel like a real Fallout game. And I played the original Fallout game, Fallout 1. You can watch that playthrough on YouTube. Shoutouts, my YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash TV. Vanilla says, I think AI is more than that. AI should be part of the challenge, part of the puzzle, and how to take it out. Exactly. Exactly. Because half the time you're like encountering the AI. The AI should be intelligent. Or at least the AI should be like, I don't know, like should be like, remember like back in the day, like when we were like transitioning from the PlayStation 2 to the PlayStation 3, and all of a sudden there was this game called Assassin's Creed and the AI was like so advanced compared to what we had on the PS2 and the AI was like the AI was sick man like that was such a magical time because it always almost felt like games were becoming more real but now that we're getting used to like you know the games of nowadays it doesn't feel like that anymore it feels like AI is like kind of stagnating you know, they don't put any more resource into making their shit, like, look good. You know, the AI just feels like, in every game, it feels like so regular. I just want that magical feeling like I had when, you know, that transition period be be between like PS2 and PS3 and all of a sudden, like, you know, like, all the NPCs have like, their like, Light, like daily plan laid out. I like the NPCs a lot in Red Dead Redemption because there's a lot of videos on YouTube where people actually follow the NPCs and they have like a day and night cycle. They actually go to work, you know, go have lunch, go like, uh, you know, like go to the bar after work, get pissed drunk, wake up, restart their day. Like every single NPC have their own like uh, routine. And I like that. It makes the world feel very real. And, but I think like, if you want like good AI like that, it takes a lot of programming. And usually only like a really big studio like Rockstar can afford to do that. So it kind of sucks like when a lot of companies like, it, I, I really feel like Rockstar right now is one of the only few companies that is actually pushing like what it means to be a gamer. You know, like other companies right now are just coasting. They're not really doing shit. Do you guys know where the fucking egg is? I'm really trying to look for it, but I don't know where, where they put it. I gotta find this thing. Ivory, uh... Okay, the I vanished subsequently processing in private hands after the war where it became something of a myth among art collectors. I don't know where this egg is in the entire map. Um So I looked at I looked I looked I, I was at on all the floors, right? But I don't know. Oh, there's an area that is like kind of undiscovered yet. Okay, wait, let me see. Oh, okay. Let me like try over there. See, this game is really big. So even though I like played on this map quite a few times, I haven't visited every single area on the map because I don't I I didn't need to I could just like do the thing and then 
you know, mission complete. <gasps> oh shit! The guy behind me. Oh, right here. Have I been here? Maybe the egg is here. What do you think of Hitman's stealth? I think it's unique. I feel like Hitman is probably one of the most, like, the last true stealth games out there. Because it has all the mechanics of a Metal Gear, right? You, you can't, like, like, you know, go, like, really low like this. You can press yourself against the wall. If there's, like, one thing that, that is missing, it's that you can't, like, go prone. You can't, like, crawl on the floor because there's no need to. Um, yeah, I like uh, Hitman's stealth because I feel like Hitman's stealth is, like, the most unique. Like, hiding in plain sight, wearing other people's clothes, and just, like, standing uh, in the middle of a crowd and no one, like, knows, like, who the hell are you. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I really enjoy Hitman's stealth. I like the whole romantic feeling of also traveling to other countries, right? Like, kind of like a James Bond. Like, this is a really beautiful location. Like, Paris, go to, like, um, fucking... Oh, yeah, do you know what location I like to visit if I ever play a Hitman game? I like to go to Monaco. Did we ever go to Monaco? I don't think so, right? Remember, like, there was a race event? I think that was in Florida, Miami. Your Monaco though. You haven't played it yet? You haven't played Hitman? I recommend getting the trilogy, Hitman 1, 2, 3. This is literally one of the first missions in the game, but this I'm not I, I'm not playing the story, I'm playing actually uh like a arcade mode where there's another target that is not part of the main story I gotta kill. And I gotta look for this item, but I don't know where it is. Yeah. Hitman is really nice. I feel like as a streamer, it's one of the best games to stream because you can have a lot of downtime. Like you can literally like pause the game and just, you know, chat with your people. But when I was playing Resident Evil Village, damn, I, I wasn't having a good time. The game freaked me out. I was like constantly scared and I just wanted to, the game to be over with and it's is this not a good way to play games, in my opinion? In my opinion, like, the best games out there are the games that you savor. Like, you really can't, like... You can't stop playing, and you hope the game never ever ends. That's, like, the best game ever. And I... It's really hard to remember, like, a game like that. I guess, like, Hitman is, like, in that category. Like, when I play Hitman, I never want it to end. And I'm, like, savoring every experience. Right? It just, the game, the whole game just feels really fresh. You know, even though I played this game like a million times, it feels like I, I can always like, I suit, learn something new, find out a new location. And even though I've been to like, Paris so many times, right? Like coming back here and I'm like, wow, this game is so beautiful. Where the fuck is this egg? Okay, I'm gonna Google it. I'm so tired. Um, let me see. Hitman. Uh, where is the egg? B A E S T H E S. Yeah, where the fuck is that egg? Oh, the item is found in a safe. Okay, but where the fuck is the safe? Using a remote breaching charge is the best way to unlock the ivory white vault. Okay, wait, but where the fuck is it? Which can be found inside the Voltaire Suite. I think. 
Is this is this mission called the broker? Oh yeah, it is because this guy is brokering. Okay, wait. Uh, Voltaire Suite. Where is the Voltaire Suite? Oh, the Voltaire Suite is like upstairs. It's like near the the auction room. Okay, it's gonna be really difficult because like apparently there's a lot there's a guards guarding it. How's it going? How's it going? So the auction room is like right here. Oh no, that's not it. Okay, where's the map? Oh, the Voltaire Suite is like right here. Oh yeah, there's two guards. Oh, but I have the key to the safe. There it is. Okay, uh... I gotta find a way to distract the guards. Okay, overflow the sink. This one too. Okay. You gotta be. Why, you little. Okay, oh, both shit. the guards went in. Uh, don't you dare mess up this Excellent, 47. Now locate and eliminate the target. Okay, now we gotta eliminate the target. The target should be like ground floor. Wow, that was really hard to find that fucking egg, man. It was like a safe in the wall. I didn't even know they had a safe over there. Okay, cool. So now we gotta kill the uh, kill the guy. But I I think that they say the guy is always near the ground floor. I think we might need to poison him or some shit. But I want the, the death to look accidental. So what I might do is... I might put something in his food that make him sick. And then I'll drown him in some sh- uh, Drown him, yeah. But that means I might need to get a waiter's outfit. Okay, I'll try to stick with this uh, bodyguard outfit as long as I can. Because it's like a really good outfit. It can get me access to all floors. Um... Alright, let's try to find this guy. So he's like a bald guy, right? And he wears like Harry Potter glasses. I'm gonna take his ass out. Okay, so right here. He's gonna be somewhere among these peoples. Okay, they got enforcers here, so I should blend in. Then where he at? I think he's probably inside. So, Sato doing the sanguine line, huh? I mean, did my stage clothes for the last tour. It's pretty cool stuff. Damn, where the Wait, fuck is this guy? Shit, where the hell is this dude? Okay, I'm blending in. Maybe he's near the bar. Yeah, I don't know where he's at. You look dedicated, man. Good job. Maybe he went onto the uh, model floor. Because according to the intel, he's like somewhere on the ground floor, right? But I just don't know where. Oh, is that him? Which Metal Gear was your favorite? Metal Gear Solid 3. Hands down. The cutscenes, the music, the gameplay. It's the greatest stealth game of all time, and in my opinion, it's like my favorite game. Yeah, MGS3 is the only MGS like that is like flawless. It's like a 10 out of 10 masterpiece. Yeah, it's really good. Is it your favorite also?
MGS3, man. Snake Eater. What a thrill. In darkness and silence through the night. What a thrill. I'm searching and I'm melting to you. Oh, I met Norihiko Hibino, the composer for like the Snake Eater. I took a photo with him. You never played 4 or Phantom. Phantom is dog shit. 4 is I, you know, 4 just feels like a fan a fan service game. Yeah, but Phantom Pain and Ground Zeroes is so fucking bad. It's so bad. But like there, there are certain things that are good about the game, like Phantom Pain, like the graphics are cool. Like the animations, like the way he like crouches when he walks is really cool, but uh, it's a shitty ass game. Yeah, the stealth is bad because like the entire game is like an open world, so you're supposed to like, so it doesn't feel like it, it the, the levels are designed. Like in Metal Gear Solid 3, the, the levels are beautifully designed. It's so good. like. You have to- it, every, Oh shit, that's the guy. That's the guy we gotta kill. Yeah, we gotta kill this guy. Yeah, in, in Phantom Pain, the open world makes the stealth like so bad. And it, there's like- In Phantom Pain, you have to travel like really long distances to get to the places that you want to go. So in order to like enjoy the good parts about the game, you got to endure like really shitty parts. The loading screens are like really annoying uh, when you're in their helicopter and like they try to like put like an RPG element where you can design your base. But in essence, the base game is really shit. It doesn't have like that really beautiful like, um, you know, design that you have in Metal Gear Solid 3. Level design is why I like MGS3 also. One of the reasons I also like those acts. Yeah, exactly. It's all about the design. It's all about the design. And it's like... MGS3 just felt like... So good, man. Like, especially like the set designs, right? Like... Going to the mountains. Going to the Grozny Grad base. You know, like the base. You, you, there's urban stealth. There's stealth in the jungle. There's like the cave. It just was so good. It's like the one of the greatest games of all time. Oh, this guy has a bodyguard, I think. Yeah, this guy's of his bodyguard. Killing this guy is gonna be a little tough. One more. Cool, honey. Because his his dude is gonna see. Damn, this guy's talking shit. Damn, I want to kill this guy, but I don't know how because his bodyguard over here is following him everywhere. I gotta, I gotta fucking get rid of the bodyguard. I'm trying to stall him. <laughs> okay, I should follow the target because I, I, I got. Oh, whoa, oh shit! That guy is the enforcer. Shit. Okay, I'm trying to find the bald guy. Oh shit, Victor Novikov is here. It's really hard to locate the bald guy because like unlike like a main target, he doesn't show up on the radar. Or he, day. or he doesn't like, he doesn't turn red like a regular enemy. I think I lost him. He came in here, but I don't know where he went. Oh, 
show was absolutely divine. You and Sato are truly made for Sh I don't know where yes, he yes, went. Thank you. Thank you. That means so very much coming from you. Now, yeah, I'm just trying to blend in. Because his bodyguard can tell that I don't work here. He has a white dot on his head. Did you play Alien Isolation? I played a little bit of it. Um, I think I... I stopped playing it because it was a little too scary for me. But I love the Alien franchise. I love Predator. I love Alien. Aliens. Um, I watched like Prometheus, Alien Covenant. And I'm really looking forward to the third movie. A lot of people didn't enjoy the um, the Prometheus uh, trilogy, but I, I I really like it so far. Do you watch the movies, Vanilla? Sh I don't know where you went. I know how you like it hot. <laughs> you get scary and intense. I enjoy the stealth play. Yeah, I feel like it's a little scripted though. Like some areas about like uh. Isolation felt like super scripted. You love Prometheus, yo me too. I love Prometheus. Did you watch Alien Covenant? Didn't like the sequel as much? The sequel had so many things that people missed out, man. Especially when like David was bombing the the aliens and did he dropped the bomb and they all lo it looks like a double helix DNA. Is that that movie was filled with symbology. I loved it. You mean the movie about the Anunnaki? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. Yeah, you had some Anunnaki shit in it. And if you guys don't know what the Anunnaki is, it's like, um... It's a theory that it's... It's not a theory. It, it, it's actual historical fact. Like, uh, the er earliest human civilization, the Sumers from Sumeria, in VR clay tablets they actually talk about an en entity called the Anunnaki which is their gods so Anunnaki literally means like from heaven onto earth from the sky they came down to earth and the, you know that the, the Sumer people talk about their gods like actually creating humans to use humans as a form of slaves oh you know the Anunnaki vanilla damn you're really in the know yeah, my peoples in my chat, man. They know about like movies and games. You guys are cultured. I like that. Shit, where the fuck is the guy? He's gone. I'm trying to find this guy, man. You read too much? But here's a here's a kicker. Do you guys do you guys know about the Saturn theory? Read alchemy uh, a little bit. But do you guys know about the Saturn Black Cube cult? The cult of the Black Cube of Saturn. You might want to look into that because it it appears like our reality is being warped by Saturn, and it sounds really crazy saying this, but. There's a lot of Saturn symbology in like our movies, in our music videos, in everything. Studying alchemy opened my mind to recognizing symbols. The black cube. Yeah, you know about the black cube, right? Alchemy was like begin in Egypt. And I think it was originally called Alchemia or something. And it was uh, started by this guy. His name is Toft. And he's like a god in Egypt. But he's not actually a god. He's actually an Atlantean. So he, he was from the Atlantis like civilization. And um, you know, his world like, you know, he, his civilization ended. And he was tasked to restarting civilization and bringing it up to speed. And that's why he was like, in charge of like um Egypt. Wow, this guy was really tough to find. Doth Hermes, Trismegistus. Yeah, those are all the different incarnations of um uh Thoth. So you know about Thoth, huh? 
And Thoth is also the author of the uh, Emerald Tablets, which is a very important like uh, manuscript about the reality of our world and how like you know like there's a there's a there's a secret in it and like how our reality is constantly changing based on like what we think and what we know and what we project and what we manifest hard to type on a small cell phone damn thank you i appreciate you typing vanilla but i'm still i'm still studying about Thoth um, and the Emerald Tablets. My favorite guy to listen to about it is Billy Carson. He he's like uh, in Ancient Alien. He's in the show Ancient Aliens, and he has his own channel called Forbidden Knowledge. He's also on Gaia. Yeah, I gotta kill this guy, but I'm kind of sick of his bodyguard following him everywhere. I don't know how to kill this guy. It's really tough because we are we are in a crowded. Oh shit! We are in a crowded place. Oh. Shit! Where he where he went? Vanilla says alchemy is the science of the cosmos, science of the soul. That's what I heard. Can you teach me a little bit of alchemy? Like some like really basic ideas about it. But from what I heard is like a lot about alchemy is like turning lead into gold. And it, a lot of it is metaphorical. It's like turning something within yourself into Jeez. gold. Like kind of transcending like who you are into something like who you really are. I'm trying to like lure him. Hey, right. now what's going on? David William Hawk wrote a book on alchemy titled The Emerald Tablet. Oh. But you, you might want to look into the uh, Emerald Compendium the Emerald Tablets Double Compendium up, yeah. by um Whoa. Oh shit, I'm dead. Yeah, I just wanna get this mission over with. Oh, I'm dead. Oh shit. Fuck. I fucked this up. I was impatient. I, I didn't want to do this mission anymore. Oh shit. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Woo, get me out of here, son. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Woo. Uh. Holy shit, they're closing in. I gotta go, I gotta go. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, Vanilla says turning lead into is metaphor, but also true. Turning actual lead into gold is basically to trick people so they wouldn't delve deeper into alchemical meaning. Example, if you're willing, writing a book, your first draft and conception could be considered lead. The edited polished version would be gold. Yeah, I kind of know about that metaphor. But yeah, I don't really, I gotta admit, I don't really know much about alchemy.
but I'm I'm really into like the uh, fourth dimension and like DMT and like how like our bodies are just like fucking s- astronaut skin suits. Yeah, I failed this mission, man. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta admit, like I was, I got a little bored of that mission. I was trying to find the egg so hard. Yo, teach me some shit, Vanilla. Oh, you smoked DMT once? How was it like? Did you, um... I think, like, smoking DMT and doing ayahuasca is, like, two different things, right? Smoking DMT isn't doing ayahuasca. Because if you do ayahuasca, there's there's a chance that you might go through, like, a thing called the purge. Where you might vomit or like have diarrhea. It was intense. Did you manage to communicate with any like an 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 entities? You're not sure? <laughs> Damn bro, you forgot, huh? I might call the stream, bro. I'm just a little bit tired and uh, I just want to enjoy my Friday. But I'll be back next week, man. And vanilla. If you want to chat with me off stream, uh, join my Discord. Uh, let me post the invite in chat. Yeah, we can talk about conspiracy shit. I'm gonna make a conspiracy um, channel. You you meant an, an entity, so you're not sure that you are, you talk to an entity. Oh, you're not sure about ayahuasca. Ayahuasca is basically um, another version of getting DMT, right? But it's combine combining two plants that are not psychoactive on its own. And when you combine two of them, it becomes psychoactive and it has like a high level of like DMT. But doing ayahuasca is like a very ceremonious thing because a lot of people that do ayahuasca have claimed that they have met a motherly figure in the DMT world named Ayahuasca and they call her Mother Aya and she guides them through the trip. Yeah, you get into conspiracy, right? That's me too. That's me too. I wouldn't consider it conspiracy. I, I would consider it like forbidden knowledge because a lot of people call it conspiracy because like it's not something that like people like talk about very often and it's really hard to get into it. Ayahuasca doesn't cause you to trip for days. Um, you know, at most you can do it for two to four hours. Right? You you still come off ayahuasca. In fact, like ayahuasca is like way gentler than smoking DMT. Yeah. I think the difference is like when you go for an ayahuasca trip, like you do it for a couple of days. Like you stay at the retreat. Uh, you do it the first night, you do it the second night, you do it the third night. And you have a shaman to guide you. Is it pronounced shaman or shaman? You have a shaman to guide you. Yeah, occult is hidden knowledge. Yeah, I'm, I'm really interested in occultic knowledge. Like, I'm in- interested in the fractal universe. Like, how everything from above is just, like, down below. Um... I'm I'm interested in Saturn Black Cube, like um, yeah, lots of stuff like the Fibonacci like golden ratio. Um, I'm very interested in like, like the biggest like uh, I can the biggest like conspiracy theory I can share with you guys is that reincarnation is a lie. Whenever you die, do not go into the light. Right? Because the people that appear at the point of your death are not actually the real people that you think they are. They are people disguised as people that you care about. So say you are very religious, right? And you die. And you see Jesus. That's not actually Jesus. That's someone or something disguised as Jesus. Because their purpose is to get you to go towards the light where your memories get recycled and you are reborn or reincarnated into a new body. You're shown a live review. You're shown a live review of like 
uh, you know, whatever happened in your life, but it's not a complete life review. It's a life review that has been warped to make you feel a sense of guilt, to make you feel that you have to come back again to learn something else. And that, and then they process your soul or your, your consciousness at the back of a moon. Right? It sounds fucking crazy as fuck, right? I, I'm sorry. If you guys think I'm crazy, I'm just telling you how it is. And your memories are wiped and you're sent back to earth because all of us are actually food for another en entity called the Archons. Whenever we have bad emotions, like we have stress, depression, anxiety, we produce this thing called Lush. Lush is a, f it, 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 Lush is a translation of light, right? Uh, but this particular kind of luge we produce is low vibrational and low vibrational luge is like food to these entities the archons oh you know about the moon part of saturn soul energy circulation i think i believe so dmt caused me to see a gold dot appear before and then it moved in an arc form and the area opened and i meant an entity full HD. I would love to experience it, man, DMT. But unfortunately, like it's illegal in my country in Singapore. So I I don't want to like I don't want to get in trouble with the government. So <laughs> like and I love living here. So yeah, that kind of sucks. Yeah, so anyway, like back to what I was saying, right? Humans that are on this planet, planet Earth, is planet Earth is like just another farm for an entities called the Archons. And I can go on a whole other tangent about the Archons, right? So what are the Archons? The Archons are mentioned in every religious text. In the Quran, In um, for Muslims, they're called the Jinn. You can find the Archons in the Bible. Um, they, are cre they are creatures made out of smokeless fire. And they have existed on our, like for, for a really, really long time. And they suck up the low vibrational energy that we create. And in fact, like all sometimes when we have negative thoughts and we have like so-called like whispers, it's actually them because they want to trigger like bad feelings so that they can harvest you even more. And um, if you want to like research about the Archons, I highly recommend you go look up this clinical psychologist his name is jerry marzinski and he has been a clinical psychologist for 40 years and he has worked in a hospital he has worked in prisons and uh, according to him there is an entity called the shadow people and the shadow people are similar to the archons or they are the archons right and the people that can see the shadow people are people who take meth or people that have schizophrenia right so according to him and he's been a professional clinical psychologist for 40 years right completely certified according to him the voices that schizophrenic hear in their head are real they are the voices of archons because archons like um cause humans to feel like really bad feelings like depression and make you recall like really bad memories but the people that can hear the voices the clearest are the people that have schizophrenia the schizophrenics they can hear the voices more and in his career he talks about a lot of stories of how he the voices are like not hallucinations because hallucinations don't behave in the same way the voices behave, right? Like for example, like the voices are, they don't like uh, religion because religion is a form of positivity. Whether you believe in a God or not, or whether you believe in like, um, you know, like different like deities and angels, it doesn't matter. Religion is a form of positivity. So whenever he would bring like um, any of these schizophrenic or like psychotic people to the church, they would run out or they would cause some chaos. And that is not consistent with an idea of what a hallucination is. Because a hallucination, a true hallucination does not differentiate with like, you know, positive shit. And, uh, you know, this 
this guy, Jerry Marzinski, he got into a lot of trouble because he was actually helping a lot of this, a lot of these patients break free from this, like, like he was actually curing people that have schizophrenia. And one of his patients actually walked into his room at the prison and his voice changed and he said to him, like, you have no right to interfere with our way of life. Yeah. Um, yeah, don't Muslims move counterclockwise around a black cube? Yeah, it's called the Kaaba. Kaaba. K-A-B-A-H. And if you break up the words Kaaba, Ka is... I, if I'm not mistaken, Ka is soul. Ba is body. And yeah, they do worship the black cube. And not only Muslims, um, in Judaism, like the uh, Jewish people... They have like a black cube like um hat that they wear. It's it's not the yamaka. It's like um they place a black cube that is tied on string and they put it on their forehead where their pineal gland is. And um you can research a lot of countries have like black cube structures. Like the 9/11 memorial is a black cube. Um black cubes are shown in a lot of movies like in Transformers like the all spark is a cube in avengers the tesseract is a cube um and if you watch like movies like interstellar um you know like the warp location is in saturn and the fourth dimension where one of the character visits is a cube uh so why are our movies and tv shows and music videos showing so much about saturn and the black cube because I believe it's a form of soft disclosure. It's kind of a contract the universe has, right? Where they can't do what they want to do unless they show us some of the truth behind it. So in order for, for them to like, like enslave us and make us like, you know, like suffer, they also have to show us truth. And so the soft truth and disclosure is shown in movies, in music videos. Like if you watch Travis Scott, like I love hip hop, right? I used to listen to Travis Scott. Travis Scott music videos are filled with occultic symbology rega regarding Saturn, regarding the Masons, regarding Luciferian um, satanic ideas. And in my opinion, the reason they do that is, is, is a form of soft disclosure. Yeah, they, they have to tell us what they're doing to avoid the karma. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's what I believe. And um, like even Elon Musk, Elon Musk tweeted about, he tweeted the symbol of the symbol of the cube, symbol of Saturn. Go look it up. Uh, Elon Musk's mom is in a lot of like magazines where she covers her right eye. Look at the photos of Greta Thunberg covering her right eye. I have the pictures if you guys want to see. Everyone that you know, like celebrities, um, are not who they say they are. They are all part of a... They're all part of a cult. You cannot be famous in this world without being a part of their, their club. There are a lot of celebrities that like put up the 666 sign on their eye. Look at that. Right? All the famous celebrities. All the famous celebrities. Uh, make sure you join my Discord because I I'll be sharing a lot of like information and like um, photos and things that you guys can study. You know, if you can have more stuff to talk about. And I'm also trying to like look up like the the cult of Vril, V R I L. Not sure if you heard about it. A lot of celebrities are in this like cult. Look at that. You seen that? Yeah, it, they're all part of the the group. There's no way in the world where you can be famous or rich without having to put up with these people. So yeah, it's really interesting. Make sure, Vanilla, I want to talk to you some more, Vanilla, because I know you know some shit. 
You joined the Discord, but not until tomorrow. I don't have Discord on my phone. Yo, it's an app, bro. It's free. Just download it. I, I need to talk to you, man, because you know some shit. You won't be home until 2 a.m. Yo, just use your, your data, man. Download that Discord. Yeah, make sure you join the Discord, man. I'll, I'll make like um a category where people can share uh, conspiracy knowledge because I have a lot. And like, it's really awesome that I can learn more about alchemy from you, Vanilla. Cause I don't know much about alchemy. I just know a lot about symbology and how like, um, a lot of our buildings all have this kind of symbology, right? Even the capital of, uh, the America, the White House, the Pentagon, they all have like, shapes in their buildings and their layouts that are like pentagrams and the all-seeing eye and even master chief look at that master chief is like in halo look up what is the what is the biblical quote for 117 117 is master chief's number go look it up what 117 actually means in the bible it's crazy. What does Master Chief mean? Go, it's, I, it blew my mind and I didn't want to believe it initially. Initially, I just, I just wanted to like think like, oh, the world is like, the world isn't that complicated. You know, the world is okay. You know, the, everything's going to be all right. But reality is stranger than fiction. Is your link on your channel description? Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, my, my Discord link is on my channel description. You can look it up. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, there's a lot of like hidden knowledge. Like, um, I, I, I also know uh, a little bit about Hollow Earth theory, Agartha. How, like, um, you know, we never actually went to the moon. It's impossible to go to the moon. You got a PS5 tomorrow? Yo, congratulations, man. Welcome to the club. You getting the disc or the digital version? Damn, bro. Congrats. Very happy for you. I, I think Cinekeed is also going to get his PS5. Don't know if Cinekeed is in chat, man. Cinekeed likes this kind of talks. I think I sent a video to Cinekeed, um before of like a reptilian tearing up like a soldier uh yeah there's a video out there of a couple of reptilians tearing up a soldier ripping off all his limbs and drinking his blood are you familiar with admiral bird is that the admiral that flew into the earth and he he is one of the most decorated like air force pilots and he has like a diary where he talks about like um, you know, his encounters. Sineki says that was crazy, right? Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? That, that, that shit, like, I, I don't even know if it was real, but it was so, yeah, it was, that shit was so scary, man. Yeah, that shit was crazy as fuck. Yeah, he flew over to South Pole and he said, like, when he did that, the temperature changed. Instead of it being colder, it actually got warmer. And he saw a mammoth and a lot of like flying crafts like invited him into the inner earth where he met with like, um, you know, like advanced civilization people. And then they talked to him and told him about how like the people of earth are not ready. And, you know, like how even the Aurora Borealis, which is this like beautiful light that you see over Alaska and, um, those are light coming from inner earth because till this day they can't really explain it what it is and what it do you know what i'm saying so yeah man i i really educate myself with all them occultic knowledge um i i i watch a lot of stuff like that like um even on youtube i watch the really soft stuff like the y files i'm not sure if you guys watch that channel it's really entertaining um yeah, but like I'm really in interested in like the reality of our, our planet and like um, the thing that I'm, I love a lot is the Egyptians. I, I really enjoy learning a lot about 
you know, their culture and uh, the ancient civilization and how the entire earth, the, and all the data of earth is actually encoded in the pyramids. Like if, if you calculate the circumference of the pyramid and the amount of blocks and like you do the math on the pyramid, it actually, actually has the math of the circumference of earth and the distance between earth and the moon and the moon and the sun. And it's crazy how like the moon is 400 times smaller from the sun and 400 the distance. It's like the moon is not even real, right? Our moon is the only moon in the entire galaxy that perfectly covers the sun. And our moon is not natural, right? Without the moon, there would not be earth. Like the moon is incredibly, incredibly needed in order to keep our earth on its axis our earth is like spin spinning on an axis and what is keeping it there is the moon and the moon doesn't even fly around the earth on its natural orbit the moon is actually going the other direction like how the fuck does that work right and also you know what is another thing that is fucking weird the moon does not rotate like you would think like whenever something is rotating around the earth it would rotate right but not the moon only the front of the moon faces earth at all at all times and the question is why because they are hiding some shit at the back and um what is really interesting if you look at ancient civilization like the zulu tribes they talk about an era where there was no moon there was a period of time in human history where we didn't have a moon and a lot of like ancient civilizations have actually talked about the moon being towed into our orbit yeah the dark side of the moon uh ever read a book called sacred Ge geometry by malki zadek i heard of it yeah i heard of it but i haven't read it yet yeah i would love if someone could like condense some of the information for me yeah um yeah the moon is really weird and and the crazy thing about the moon is like we wouldn't be here without the moon because the moon controls the four seasons it controls the tide of the water of like the sea right without the moon like everything would be drowned in water and think about what else is made out of water. It, it, our bodies are made out of water. We are 70% made out of water. So the moon is also in control of us. Talks about Egypt and Atlantis. Yeah, Egypt is crazy. Egypt is crazy. It's like literally the truth of the world is encoded in the, the pyramids. If you want to know about our earth, just look at the, the, the pyramids is facing true north like the calculations that would take for you to like build the pyramid to reach the point at the top if you were just off by just like half an inch the whole thing is a fucking mess like the precision they have to even build the pyramids is like we can't replicate that so think about it if the people from back in the day have such technological knowledge of how to build the pyramids and how it relates to the to the stars you know to Sirius star system how it actually faces and it, it does it's like crazy man that means those peoples them peoples they know more about like the afterlife and they know about like where we came from and why are we here so a lot of the answers that we have in life and like um uh, uh, we want to ask in life are in Egypt what was crazy is like in the king's list Toth was said to be said to have lived or ruled for 14,000 years. And in the Emerald Tablets, they even talk about like how he would regenerate his bodies, his body. Like he would uh, have like, um, he would have like a, a, a chamber where he would put his body and he would rejuvenate it. Very similar to what you see in the movie uh, Wanted. Remember in the movie Wanted where the, the people go in it the, the, the movie where they bend the bullets and like whenever they get injured they, they sit in this baths hey what it do I see did you finish Yakuza uh no I haven't I haven't yet I took a break from it though 
Because uh yeah, I, I played it too long, man. Yeah, the, the combat got a little stale. Uh, I still enjoyed it, but I'm just taking a break. I really don't know what I'm going to be playing next. I should probably look at some holiday sales. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm really into conspiracy stuff, man. And if you guys like want to talk more about it, like join my Discord. Um it's a very safe place for you guys to like share and uh talk about stuff, man. Damn, look at these prices. It's kind of a dry season. There isn't like much games that I'm I really really want to play. I really want to get into F1. Like I heard like the graphics are really tight. And like uh it looks really good. Uh but I want to wait till the F1 2023 comes out. ICC sounds good, bro. Thoughts on Andrew Tate? Uh, <laughs> okay, wait. Let me drink some water for this one. Do a stream conspiracy theory from YouTube night. Like, yeah, I might do that. Might do that. Uh, hold up. Okay, let me answer what I think about Andrew Tate. Right? I think a lot of things that Andrew Tate talks about have a lot of truth in them like what it means to be a man and being more masculine and uh what a man needs to do he he andrew tate comes off as this like bigger bro or he comes off as your like missing dad like a lot of people don't have he comes off as a mentor kind of guy but i feel like a lot of like andrew tate's philosophy and his lifestyle is fueled by insecurity like as much as he talks about like being strong uh you know getting your bag up like getting your money right is is true uh, i feel like his insatiable appetite for wealth and like girls and like whatever the fuck is like it's a form of insecurity I remember like recently he tweeted to Greta Thunberg saying like he got 33 cars and then Greta like replied like yo alright enlighten me by emailing it to smalldickenergy at getalive.com yeah I remember her like that was a really sick burn and I, I guess that in a way highlights uh, Andrew Tate's insecurity because if you are really secure with yourself as a person, you won't have the need to tell people how rich you are or what you have. The truly, truly rich people in this world do, do not want people to know how much money they have. In fact, they want to remain as incognito as possible. Because like, being really, really, really wealthy is a burden on its own and the beauty about being very wealthy is being unknown. You know what I mean? You heard about his arrest today. Yeah, I heard that he got um he got arrested on charges on human trafficking. Like it, it's always been like a I don't know. Like I feel like he's always been associated with human trafficking. I don't know if he's done anything that fucked up before. Like, I know he's, he had like a webcam, like a website, right? Where according to him, he like have people like, he have girls like, you know, work for him and shit like that. And the truth about it is like, we don't really know like what he did. We are just like, we are just like going along with whatever he tells us. So I feel like his wealth is also a little bit sus. Like, someone as wealthy as him, I don't think it's that far-fetched to think that they might be into some nefarious type shit, right? But, yeah, I don't, I, but judging him based on his, like, personality and the way he talks, his demeanor, his demeanor, I don't think he's into human trafficking, but I could be wrong, right? If he is, um into that type of life he, if he's into that type of world he's done a really great job at you know playing as if that he doesn't 
Vanilla says, I think he was telling her to piss her off because she is a climate change person. But yeah, think about it. Why would you have the need to piss off someone? If you are really like, like secure or comfortable with, with where you're at, right? A truly happy person wants to make other people happy. A, a person that feels some type of way about themselves wants to make someone feel that type of way. Right? So even though Greta Thunberg is like maybe she comes off as an annoying person or she comes off as like in my opinion Greta is like a plan, right? She's just reading a script someone gave her. Uh, and she's the face of climate change but I don't have any ill will towards her or I I don't like if, if I'm rich or I, I own a lot of cars I, I don't give a fuck about the environment I if I could I would have as much cars as Andrew Tate right I wouldn't feel the need to send her a really like a, a text like that you know what I mean because think about it like what does like a happy person really do they try to bring everyone up with them they try to make everyone else happy but i feel like andrew tate knows a lot of truths in a in what makes a man a man but he has a lot of insecurity that you cannot deny because if you look at all of andrew's tweets or you look at the way he communicates he calls people brokies you know if you don't prescribe to his way of thinking you are a loser right and it's not always the truth like you can't be happy without money right money helps a lot but you don't have to get as rich as andrew tate to be happy but according to him you have to and he will make fun of you if you are not as rich as him right so think about it if you are like one of the richest people on earth you have a hundred million in the bank um you can buy any fucking car you want you can be with like as many beautiful women as you want to you can travel to anywhere on earth you don't ever have to work again right why is andrew tate so insecure why is he starting beef with people on twitter why is he like putting out hit pieces against like you know against like feminist movements and like i get it like his ideology is like totally different from them and he's trying to like present his ideas but he comes off as a very abrasive guy he comes off as like he's a hurt wounded animal you know what i'm saying i'm not saying his ideas are bad his ideas he have a lot of good ideas and i do believe that the world could use a lot more masculinity working out getting your money right right like taking the blame for everything that is wrong with your life like I, I truly believe in that like whenever there's something that isn't right about your life it's your responsibility right there's something that you're doing or you're not doing and you gotta he i like his concept of personal responsibility i like his concept about being as masculine of a man as possible i believe in like what he says like he talks about duty your duty as a man sometimes you gotta go down with the ship i'm 100 percent on board with that right but the way he's presenting his ideas and the way he's attacking people and the way he's like starting up beefs that those things come from a place of insecurity right if you are truly contented and like happy with your life you won't have the need to share photos of all your cars you would just enjoy them right like you know if you truly love cars and you really tr truly love the things that you love you won't have the need to show them off because it doesn't matter if people know you have a sports car or if you have the new bugatti you know what i mean and then you start to realize that the reason he likes those things is because he thinks everyone likes them those things and everyone will validate him and give him props for having those things that he buys right whenever you look at when someone like buys stuff like expensive watches or cars or sneakers or whatever try to look at at a point like if they buy those things do they buy it for themselves or they buy it to show it off to other people 
if they buy it to show it off to other people, there is a chance that they don't really like the object. They are buying it because it buys them validation. It buys them respect. It buys them some form of clout, right? The truly wealthy people of this world, like, and I'm talking about the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, they don't fucking want you to know how much money they have, right? They have all the fucking jets in the world. They, they own this fucking planet, but they don't want you to know that because they don't need the clout because clout gets you in trouble. Being famous gets you in trouble. Being wealthy and being unknown is the best thing that ever could, can ever happen for you, right? The smartest people of this world who are actually rich as fuck, they don't want you to know they're rich, you, right? They don't want you to know who they are. And I think like Andrew Tate, like always like flexing and always like posting stuff and starting beefs, it all stems from a place of insecurity. Uh, Vanilla says, something that helped me man up was reading Sun Tzu. I don't think Sun Tzu talks a lot about masculinity, but uh, Sun Tzu talks a lot about like a uh, strategy. And like, I guess he has a lot of like philosophies of how to live life in a very like strategic and smart way. But yeah, I think like the masculinity question, like a lot of those ideas that Andrew Tate shares are actually true. It's the way he presents them and the stuff that he does on his downtime, like starting beefs and being so insecure about himself is, yeah, that shit is wet. Hagakuri, I'm not sure if I know what that is. Rothschild's original banners and the Knights regular are the original bankers. Are you talking about the Knights of Malta? Yeah, so it's, you know what I'm saying, right? Like truly wealthy and smart people will go out of their way not to be known by the public. A lot of people like confuse like fame for like, you know, a lot of people want to be famous, right? And the reason they want to be famous is because there's something within their childhood that they weren't accepted or they didn't get enough hugs from their parents and in their mind they feel like the validation they're gonna get from people is by flexing on them by like showing you know all their bugatis you know and showing like the beautiful women they have it's like if you are truly contented with your life you you are too busy enjoying it to post content think about it andrew tate with the wealth he has he's actually taking time out of his life to post content that he doesn't need because he craves for the fame as much as like the wealth he has like the wealth he has is not enough he has to he has to tell people that their lives suck it's not good enough that his life is already awesome you know he has to let people know they are brokies so that he feels even better about himself and that's coming from a place of insecurity. And like I said, like it, he has a lot of good ideas and philosophies about life, but he has a big gaping hole in his character, which is the insecurity. That shit is like kind of sad, actually. You know, look at him. Like he's a fucking tall guy. He's built, he's ripped, right? He has like a fucking million dollar watch in his hand. He drives the most beautiful cars in the world. He eats the most delicious food because he can like afford to go to the most expensive restaurants, fly anywhere he wants, party it up, you know, do whatever the fuck he wants. But that's not enough, right? He has to tell you that you, you have to get on his level, right? He has to like tell you what you don't have and what he has right and like according to him he's just trying to inspire you or motivate you but that is just like a very like one-sided way to view the world because not everyone finds value in the same thing he finds valuable but the way he goes about preaching his ideas is like if you don't think like him if you don't like you don't get your money right like he does you are a nobody you know, he's like so bought in with this thing called identity, right? This thing called identity is fake. 
if we, we don't carry this with us when we die. You know, in fact, identity is what keeps us trapped in this mortal coil and makes us like feel hurt, feel make us feel so much pain. Identity. It's my birthday. Nobody wish wish me happy birthday. You know, I'm 25 years old and I'm not a millionaire. I should be a millionaire. You know, like I'm not famous. I should be famous. It's identity. Identity is fake. Right? Identity is not what makes you happy. You are beyond this identity. You're beyond this skin suit you call a body. You're beyond who you think you are. Right? But I think like Andrew Tate is pushing and selling a lot of things that is identity. He's selling the fact that, oh, he converted to be a Muslim. Oh, I'm a Muslim now. Oh, I am this now. Oh, I'm that now. Oh, I own this thing. I own that thing. You know, like, oh, you know, like you are a brokey. A brokey is another form of identity. It's just identity piled on identity piled on identity. And none of it is real. All of them are created by him or created by other people, right? Like who gives a fuck about a Bugatti, right? He cares about it, but do you know why he cares about it? It's because other people care about it, right? The Bugatti brand or the, the cars have existed way before he was born. But because he identified those things as cool, he identified those things as like what he needs to identify with in order to like uphold his character and who he is as a person. He, that's why he associates himself with those things. And that's why he puts other people down who don't associate themselves with the identities that he thinks are cool, right? And that's where I think he, he comes off as an insecure prick. He comes off as a jackass in that regard. Identity is fiction. You are right, Vanilla. Right? Because if you were born in like a different country, you would have been a Buddhist. You know, if you're born in another country, you would have been a Satanist or a Christian or Muslim or a Jewish. You know, you don't have any control of this identity. The identity is there to keep you trapped. It's to keep you identifying with something that will hold you down. It doesn't expand your mindset, you know? Um, so I think that's, you know, that's what I think about Andrew Tate. And um, I think like him getting arrested recently is, it's his, it's his own fault. Think about it. He's already fucking rich and he has, I mean, he doesn't have to put himself out there, right? And I think a, a big part of the arrest was on his hands. He, you know, he painted a very big target on himself and his brother. And um, that's the price of fame. The price of fame is you get a lot of validation, but you paint a big bullseye on your back. And I find that very hypocritical for Andrew Tate because the number one thing he preaches is he preaches personal safety and responsibility, right? Like he always talks about like not walking in an alley where there's a chance you will get mugged or identifying things that will bring you danger or um, you know putting a bullseye on your back but that's exactly what he did he put a big bullseye on his back right he put himself and his brother in danger and the thing is like he wants to like contextualize the entire purpose of his life with like God, he wants to say like, oh, he's doing God's work. That's another form of narcissism. The fact that he can speak for God. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, come on, bro. Get the fuck out of here. So. So that's what I think about Andrew Tate. Yeah, good question, Icy. Any other questions? <laughs> yeah. Hey, make sure you guys hit the follow button, man. If you guys are new to the channel, um, you guys want to watch my content in the future, make sure you follow up. And uh, if you're on YouTube and you're watching this in the future, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. 
anyway i think I'm, i might just call it right here if you guys don't have any more questions i think that's it for me man i'm gonna go grab myself a nice lunch um i'm kind of hungry i think it's about it's, it's about two o'clock yeah 2 p.m here in good old singapore so uh catch you guys later man shout out to my boy cineki vanilla i see everyone in chat uh i'll see you guys uh next week next week the first stream of the week i i, I don't think i'll be streaming because i'll be uh meeting with family but uh I'll, i should be streaming next week for sure but just not the first day um it is 1 a.m yo where you at vanilla where you from man like where you live in Yeah, I catch you later, bro. Make sure you join the Discord. Hi, right, guys. Thanks for watching. Good looking out. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Peace.